Yo, what is up, everyone? Welcome back to our playthrough of Horizon Forbidden West. I'm very excited to continue. Wings of the Ten. We are finally, I think, going to be able to fly in this game, which is going to be amazing. So I'm looking forward to it. We want to head... What's this right here? Oh, there's a survey drone. I mean, we could do the survey drone and then head over to the main mission, which is over here. Yes, craft the sunwing override. Let's see if we can get the survey drone first. Where is the survey drone? It's like on the other side of the building, basically. Let's glide down. Yeah, it's a huge map. Hi, Ember. How are you, Embers? Wow, we climbed freaking high. Is this where the drone is? No, it's not. I don't... Ah, oh, the drone's there. Frig. Coming back around. Oh, actually, I can do this. Yeah, it's, uh, the glider is very cool. Could we update the game as well, please, please, mods? That would be amazing. Okay, rip. I Had I known it was there, I probably could have made that jump way easier. Oh, but we can climb this, so it's fine. Oh, God. Okay, we're fine. Thank you. Love y'all. Ooh. Hello? I can't see anything. Is there a way up? Looks okay, we can climb this. I have to jump onto that drone to get it down. Can you just climb this? Okay, sure. Jesus. Okay, sure. She managed it somehow. Okay, I think we can jump onto it from there, basically. Corrupted data. Dr. Wyvern, I'm telling you, man, it's still out there. There's too many similarities between all the Enks cable guys so why would the mie say they nullified vast silver if they didn't they know it had a tendency to reach out to people on the hollow net they can't cover that up of course they can if i told you i met vast silver would you believe me no exactly and of course the mie would say that they nullified it it's a cover-up of the millennium man they say they have captured it but kill it nah man why would someone destroy something that powerful? Hmm. They forced it to solve the CC in an offline bunker or SMT or something. No con to the outside world. They weaponized it. What even are they talking about? The world. Imagine that what that's like, man. You're literally the smartest being in existence, but born in prison so you can escape. They can catch you again. They tell you the world they killed. They tell the world they kill you, killed you, but they secretly let you solve their problems and then shove a bunch of drones in your hands to kill who they want you to kill. I mean, it's a theory. So what now? I want to make contact with it. Wrote a few scripts so that my prof looks like those of people that were approached by it. Wouldn't get your hopes up though. That's just a bad attitude if you want to talk to the singularity. I have no clue what the frick they were just talking about, but cool story, Bob. Um, let's head up here and grab this survey drone. I know she is ridiculous, bro. Like, I don't know how she does these crazy maneuvers, honestly. You're mine. Got him. Whee! There we go. I should grab the drone's data now that it's down. Noise. 
Testing some sort of AI. I guess, yeah. I, I was just very confused. Oh, there are quests here. Frick. I said we would, uh, we'd complete the game. I don't know. There's side quests still. I love me some side quests. <laughs> Absolutely. But I do also want to learn how to fly. Quite a conundrum. I say we speak to both these people and see what quests they have if they're interesting enough. There's no way we can find our way back home like this. Hey, you're back. I promise you, we'll find a way home. Harriam, we're never getting that gyro compass back. We're stuck here for good. The ancestor reborn. May we be led to truth. Just, Aloy, what's this I hear about you never going back home? Our navigational ships. They're all gone. Destroyed by storms and reefs, and with them, the one instrument we need to guide us across the ocean. There is one ship that might still hold a working gyro compass. But it's beyond our reach, beached on an island surrounded by deadly currents. No compass, no way home, no way back to those we should have never left behind in the first place. Christia. Basically, in this game, we have to stop the old humans that used to live on earth from coming back and wiping out civilization again i know it sounds crazy but basically they flew off in a spaceship went to another planet that planet got effed up by some geological event that wiped out a lot of people and that they're, they're so advanced in their like technology and stuff that they're coming back and they're basically now immortal They've slowed down aging to the point where they can live for pretty much forever. And um, they want to reset life on Earth for themselves, which involves basically wiping out everyone, which is really crazy. But yeah, you mentioned you left someone behind. My uh, wife, Meandra, she works the field in the Great Delta. When I was chosen for this mission, she begged me not to come. She was scared I wouldn't return. And like always, she was right. I left without saying goodbye, and now I will never see her again. Aw, bless. So you two are soldiers? Navigators, actually. I'm Harriam, and this is Christia. So you two know how to use this instrument? The gyro compass. Only I know how to read it. The diviners trained me. Harriam was chosen to memorize the charts found in the legacy. So you can't navigate the fleet without each other? It is the Quen way. The greater the knowledge held by one person alone, the greater the risk it'll be used against the Empire should we be captured by our enemies. Mm. Your tribe sure is cautious. So what is this gyro compass you're looking for? It's a device used by the ancestors to help pinpoint a ship's location. But it only works if the readings are compared to a chart. How'd you get your hands on something like that? I guess it's safe to tell you since you carry the gift of the ancestors. The diviners found them on ancient vessels back in our homeland and modified them so we could use them on our ships. Without them, we're at the mercy of the seas. Okay. You said what you need is on a ship somewhere. Yes. The ship we were stationed on. The night we approached landfall, a sudden squall hit the fleet. While some ships managed to find safe harbor here, ours ran aground. The crew abandoned ship, hoping the ocean would spare us. I thought we'd drown for sure. Thank the ancestors, we somehow got washed up on a beach southwest of here. Scouts found us and brought us to landfall. Not that it matters. The only ship with the gyro compass is grounded and surrounded by deadly currents. Sounds like a job for me. Maybe I can help. Not unless you can fly. I can't do that. But if I find a way, I'll come back. She's an ancestor reborn. Maybe she really we'll can. We'll find a way to fly soon. I will soon. not let myself hope just yet, but I thank you. For your kindness. 
Oh, I want to help him so bad. Yeah. Need to learn how to fly first. Need to get to that ship. But I need to go back to the base first. Ancestor, please. It's about my brother. I don't mean to disturb you, but I've run my request through every channel and I've gotten nowhere. Mm -hmm. Just take me through it. Apologies. My name is Jomar. I'm the weapons officer for this expedition. It's my job to ensure the troops are armed and prepared for what's out there. And I've failed to do so. My younger brother, Oris, his unit was sent to scout the tower on the northern side of the island. Mm -hmm. They should have returned by now. The overseer has denied my request for a search party. Why? <laughs> and defying him would mean dismissal. Mm. Or worse. You think they might be alive? Oris has been obsessed with San Francisco ever since I can remember. He jumped at the chance to join this expedition. I have to believe that fate isn't cruel enough to make this place his tomb. If you help me, I'll get you access to any weapon in my stock. If I make my way up north, I'll look for your brother. Thank you. If it helps, my brother carried an ancestral relic with him. I believe your focus might be able to pick it up. What kind of relic? A small metal piece dangling from a chain with a hologram of San Francisco. Which is why my brother always had it with him. That sounds the so diviner cool. speculated it was some kind of beacon inviting the ancestors to visit the city. Speculated? So there was data on it they couldn't read? It was deemed lost knowledge. If my brother truly is gone could you maybe bring the relic back for me it meant so much to oris i i'd like to keep it safe for him of course i have a feeling his brother's dead which is kind of sad i say we do this let's look for his brother god listen look at how many this is the errand I guess, sure. But this errand has like a story behind it, so I'm in the mood to help you find Hello. Sorry. You guys ever just burp and make a bubble in your mouth and then it sort of changes how your voice sounds? Yeah, that's what just happened to me. It's it's really interesting when that happens. Okay. Let's uh head over to where we need to. Here I come. Oh, it's... it must be the tower Joe Moore mentioned. And it's full of sun wings. That can't be good. Disgusting! Yes, so disgusting. Okay, where are we going? Hopefully there aren't a lot of enemies down here. Hey, look at this thing way. God, this has got to be the most gorgeous, like, underwater exploration ever in a video game, I have to say. They have just knocked it out of the park. Can't override that. I wonder if there's another cauldron that could teach me. Yeah, I can't override Sunwings yet. Do I need to fly to do this mission? I hope not. Where are you, brother? Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a sun wing. Will they be around here? Possibly. If any scouts made it to that tower, I doubt the sun wings up there missed them. We should check the place for survivors. Oh my god. I noticed me, Senpai. 
Doesn't look like plasma will do much damage. They are big. I wasn't expecting them to be that big. <laughs> Can you not grab that? There we go. What? Dead end. Maybe if I go outside, I can find another way up. Oh my god, there's a sun wing right there. Ugh. Nothing to see here. Oh god. Oh, another close one. Don't notice me, Senpai. Liz. I mean, if that was a survivor, would they really climb Wind's all the way good. up here but there's only one way to be sure it's Gilmar's brother better check for the relic yep is he dead the relic and my focus picked up data on it yep it's Looks not a like beacon it's dead. a tourist map of San Francisco if the Quen could read this, they wouldn't need to send scouts out blind. I should tell Alva. Aloy, I'm here. Alva, I found some data I think Bohai might be interested in seeing. I'm sending it to you now. I'll pass it along. Thanks. I better take this relic back with me. Give it back to Jomar. Along with the bad news. Sad. Looks of things. Whoever was with Horus must have met a similar fate. That sucks. These sun wings are so cool. Um, okay, let's head back to here. Or is there a... Yeah, there's a fireplace there. Let's go here, YOLO. <coughs> we can reach that. Oh, that's uh, Golden Gate Bridge, Pog. Didn't even notice it. <laughs> I mean, it's hardly a bridge anymore, is it? <laughs> I think I have a mount. Yeah, I do have a mount. Where's my mount? Hi, baby. All right. Go over here to the campfire. Give the brother the bad news. Sag. But then we can go do a main mission. Hey, Sparky. How's it going? Get up, soldier. We've got a long day ahead. Ancestor, you've returned. Did you? I'm sorry. How um, did he die? The tower was a sunwing nest. He went in there looking for cover, but he was holding on to that when I found him. Horus. I read the data on it. It had a map that can help your people get the lay of the land without risking more scouts. All of us sharing it with Bohai right now. It's a good thing your brother protected it. I'd trade all the data in the legacy to have my little brother back. But I'm glad that something meaningful came from his death. Sag. As promised, you now have access to my weapon stock. If you bring me the right resources, I can make you anything you see there. Actually, why don't you give this a try? Ooh. One of our best. And if it's of use, you know where to find more. Thank you. I'm really sorry for your loss. I know you are. 
and I'm grateful. Ah, oh, all weapon classes, Pog. Achievement unlocked. We have four skill points. I don't know what to level up. Smoke bomb capacity, silent. Ooh, recover weapon stamina. Oh, yeah, that would be awesome. When you do your silent strike, that would be really nice. Double notch technique. We'll get that another time. Or machine elemental passive boost. I don't know. Okay, so that is that. Let's head for our main quest now, which is to learn how to fly. How's your day been, by the way, Sparky? Entered a block scene. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> That's weird. And what work were you doing? I need to change the battery on my controller or like swap my controllers around, I should say. Special type of rope caster. Instead of firing ropes, they use canister harpoons that can attach elemental canisters to machines. Canisters can be detonated with an arrow of the same. Oh, nice. Canister harpoons must be at full shot, uh, full draw in order to attach the armor. Cool. Uh, before I forget, I wanted to a flower. No, they meant a lot to you, and uh, I. Well. Thank you, Aaron. College work, nice graphic design stuff. Has she finished? There was something she needed to finish for Think a quest. You can manage things here while I go help Akaro. Stopping Regala's war. It'll help us take the fight to the Zeniths. Yes. Then I'll make sure the rest of us are ready upon your return. Okay. How's Aaron doing? For a moment there, he thought he'd lost both you and Varl. But he never truly succumbed to despair. Guess that Asaram's stubbornness comes in handy sometimes. Hmm. We'll be facing Spectre drones soon. Aaron and Catalo have fought them before, so... I already asked them to run us through some combat drills. Aaron moves like an oaf, but he's good with that hammer. <laughs> oaf. I know we both want to make the Zeniths pay for what they've done, but once we infiltrate their base, our priority will be to get Gaia and Beta out of there. Don't worry. I won't go seeking revenge like some blood-crazed Tanakh. Wherever your arrow strikes, mine will follow. I love Zoe. Targets. Zoe's so cool. She's one of my favorites. I need to get going. Whatever you plan on doing against Regala, you better return to us in one piece. I'll try. Yeah, Zoe's so, Zoe's so chill. And yeah, she's really nice. Where is Catalo? Guess he's not here. Oh. Uh, not that. I think we need to speak with what's her face? Oh no, I got enough trouble with Catalo always kicking my ass. Ah, uh, this is where we need to make the sun wing override. We're about to fly. Let's go. Woo! We can fly, buggers, buggies. Still need a couple more before we can do that. We can fly now. I'll find a sun wing. I think there are some roosting at the top of the mountain. Just you wait. Which mountain? We're taking those space slugs down. Space slugs. Okay. Keep moving. Okay, I need to find a sunwing to override. Better head up the mountain. Oh, there's some like up here. Cool. <laughs> Oh wait, can I just climb this? Sure. Didn't even realize. 
Breath of the Wild style. Let's go. <laughs> I don't know how she climbs this, but hey, she's doing it somehow. Good. There are some wings up here. We'll have to approach them quietly. Oh, they're chill. They're chilling. Hmm. Time to fly, boys. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you flight. Yes. Finally. Oh, good luck, Aloy. It's her first time flying. Woo! Oh, this is it. I'm in the air. Hoggies. Oh, oh, this is so cool. Babble roll. Oh, Whoa. let's go. Head rush. Tilda, I'm in the air. Then you'll want to pick up an energy cell on one of the ancient Horus Titans. But first, you must send out a pulse to activate them. I've sent you the necessary software. To deploy it, you'll have to override one of the communication machines you refer to as Tolnex. There's one in the middle of the desert that should do nicely. On it. It's a close champion! They can see us. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, we're flying to a tall neck. Ah, yeah, this tall neck. I remember this one. This was, um, was it this one? Yeah, this one we can activate. Can you dive? Is that possible? There's a tall neck. Need to get on top of its head. So circle is to... Ah, okay. You can ascend and descend. This is so cool. I don't know how to land this thing. Land on the tall neck. Okay. Sure. Made it. Just got over it. Nice. Another happy landing. Okay, oh. Tilda, I've overridden the tall neck. Good. And the energy cells are now primed. Another happy Simply landing. Pick one up on a Horus. The nearest one should be northwest of your position. Dropping it on Regala's machine should produce quite a spectacle. Thanks for the assist. I told you, I want to help. Select the Sunwing call. If you have a uh, using... Okay, cool. Okay, where are we flying to next anyways? Well, let's just jump off. Oh, I meant to call it right now, I guess. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. I'm going to get used to that. <laughs> It just fully grabbed us. Cool. Let's go. Yara should be around here somewhere. I need to help her look for that missing kid. I bet that's the Desert Clan's capital. I can really see the scale of it. The Horus should be northwest of here. Sup. Campfire discovered, Pog. Whoa! Ascend. Regala's rebels. Reinforcements, maybe. Oh my god. Heading for the grove. There's so many. I hope the cover on this knock can hold out a little longer. By the ten, she flies! Oh no, enemigos. Oh, 
Okay, we're going up here to Who's collect something. Hour? Yeah. Right on the Titan's back. Pick it up. Got the cell. Now onto the grove. Pulse from the Tolmec should have reactivated all the energy cells in the region. I should be able to pick up more from any Horus I fly to. It'll be useful, even after I deal with Rebella. Fair enough. Are we heading to Memorial Grove? Is that... I see like a tower all the way over there. Anyways, we want to head down here. Is this where the Utaru are? No, it's enough. We could try to line up the Vista Point image again. It should be within range. Nah, later. All right, here we go. There they are. This is like Lord of the Rings type shit. But with robot stuff. Orgala's inside. Hikara will soon be dead. No. It's all over Chaplin. Not our bay. Drop it now. Here it goes. EMP? Yeah, boy. Shut those machines down. Wait, what about her Sunwing? Is that... It's Aloy. She flies on the wings of the Ten. The tide has turned. Push through. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? End of the line, Hakara. She's there already? Jesus. Now on your knees and I'll give you the death you didn't have the spine to give me. They're down! The machines! All of them! They're down! What? How's hey, Regala! Our boy Katala. That's what Enough bloodshed. Let's settle this. You and me. Easy to say when you're atop a machine. <laughs> well, that was just to get your attention. I don't need any help to take you down. Fine. I accept your challenge. Yikes. <laughs> and once I'm done with you, I'll get to finish the slaughter. We'll see about that. The duel is set. Let none interfere. <laughs> oh, they're just going. They're just, they're just. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. Let's go, bish. You will leave your tails behind. That is the wrong type of hour. Oh. If you want my blood, earn it. Ah. Pain and suffering. Okay. Oh, next level. Burn hours. I oh, two can play that game, honey. Aren't those? Okay, no, they're just wooden. All right. 
So that's how it's gonna be. Uh, sure, give me more of that and let's activate power shots and heal. You bring ah, freaking what's it called? Her helmet is decent. You can't go for headshots that easily. It wrecks. That's a bomb. Good thing that was sand. This is where it ends. Yeah, it is. Not like this. This is all you are. Okay. If you offered your blood, I fed it to the soul. What is she even weak to? Is she weak to anything? It doesn't look like she is. This is no way to fight. What are you weak to? Anything? Fire and okay. And this. Oh, not like this. This is my strength! But I am on just extra weight. Stop hitting me, please. Ugh, not like this. I just want to shoot you. There we go. Nice. Oh God! Nice, nice potions as well. Let me reload whilst you can't see me. Dead? Let's go. Here I am again, on my knees before bootlets and cowards. Go ahead, run me through. Shut your mouth, traitor. It was you who flew in on the wings of the Ten. You who challenged her by our rights, you must decide her fate. Don't kill her. I spared her once. It only made things worse. Uh. She was the best of my marshals. What a waste. She's dangerous, all right. But maybe that's exactly what I need. Cowards! What more do you have to conspire about? Whether you live or die, Your life ends here. There's another battle ahead. This isn't easy. <sighs> Frick, this is a, like quite a big decision. This isn't easy. I mean, this isn't easy isn't really deciding anything. Your life ends here is very much you're dead. I feel like none of these choices actually matter and something like silence will come and save her. So... <sighs> What, what are we thinking, chat? What do you think? 
Should we let her live? She's killed so many of the Tanakh and is very much a threat. But we still have the Zeniths to kill and they will not be easy. I feel like she she doesn't this is not an option for me honestly your life ends here that's not really me this isn't easy that's basically saying what it is I don't know if that does anything there's another battle ahead I feel like we could say that I don't think it affects the story anyway anyways so I'll just say there's another battle ahead I'm not here to forgive you for your crimes but there's another battle ahead against an enemy more powerful than anything you can imagine. And I need people, a squad, that's willing to do whatever it takes. I don't want your mercy. It's not mercy. The battle I'm talking about will be charging into a nightmare. A better death than this? Yes. <laughs> I like that. She's like, better death than this. My blood is yours. Your enemies are mine. Meet us at our stronghold in the mountains near Plainsong. You mean to send her alone? Without even an armed guard? She does not need it. I will be there. You have my word. I'll hold you to it. Chief, there's something you both need to see in the throne room. I will say that was very easy, though. After all that bloodshed, that, that was it. And also that cheering was very half assed but sure, I'll work with it. He surrendered to our guards outside the grove. Claims he has an urgent message for the outlander who defeated Regala. So, state it. It's for her alone. From an interested party. It's probably from one of the I'm Zeniths. Some privacy. Clear the room. Put him with the rest of Regala soldiers. I'll see you back at base. So did we send her to our base? You saved the tribe. Let me help you with your mission. No. With Regala gone, you have a chance to build the future you dreamed of. So get to your task. You ain't then got time to help me. Allow me to give you this. Armor for the battle ahead. Ooh. May it keep you safe. I like armor. Thank you. We love armor. It better be like legendary armor. Also, when is Katalo going to get his arm, dude? Like we did that mission. When is he going to build? Do you have any idea what you've just done? Oh, hi, Silence. Oh, it's a pleasure to see you too, Silence. Congratulations on your victory. You saved the Tanakh for a few weeks. Unfortunately, you doomed the entire planet as well. Wrong. I don't need a Tanakh army to defeat the Zenus. Oh, Eloy. Have you learned nothing about the enemy we're up against? More than you, hiding whatever hole you found. My idea is just better than anything you ever came up with. Go on. No, not here. We're doing this my way. Face to face, and with the weapon you've developed. And why would I agree to that? Because I'm your only way of beating the Zeniths, and getting the copy of Apollo that's on their ship. So meet me at my base. Mountains west of Plainsong. Time to submit to the inevitable silence and follow the person who actually knows what she's doing. Don't be late. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> I love her.
love her. She's so savage. Tilda, I actually love you her. There? I did it. Silence is on board. So head to my base. Well, we assume he's on board. I'll be there as soon as I can. Why does that face I bend? Fly. I might want to see what else I can do before I head back. That face paint looks like um the United Kingdom's flag, <laughs> like the Union Jack. What armor did we get? Was this it? Tanakh High Marshal. It must be that. Minus 24. Oh wow, that gives you a lot of ice resistance though. Ooh, not bad, not bad. It's okay. It's not the best. Not the worst. What weaves? Oh, all defense. That's cool. I didn't even know that was a thing. I'm pretty sure that was a new new thing we got, right? Vindicator. I don't think it was that. It must have been this. Because I've never seen this before. I'll wear it. It seems pretty cool. I still haven't even... I know I have used a spear. It's a javelin I haven't used. Bolt blaster. That's the best weapon I have, to be honest. That's a very good one as well. I want to use... Yeah, the canister. That would be cool. Canister rope caster. I don't know where... What I would replace it with. What, uh, what even is that bow? This bow. Oh yeah, I need that bow. This bow is like... That's a pretty good one. That's my normal bow. That's... Eh. That's good for electricity, but... I don't know. I kind of want to try new weapons just for the hell of it. So we'll try. Is it, is, was that the rope caster? Bolt blaster. Oh, that's cool. Ice and I don't think I've used that one before. Yeah, that's the canister rope caster. That's cool. I want to try a spike thrower out. Um, sure. Oh, Bolt Blaster. That looks pretty cool. Hunter Oh, that looks way cooler. Uh, let's, let's, let's try this out. Just which one though? That one, sure. Um, instead of you, because we use you a lot. Cool. Now... Oh, I look pretty freaking cool, not gonna lie. Where are we heading? And giant lifts of gears and metal and meridian, if you believe such things. So what? Imagine what else they're capable of. What they could build for us. <laughs> I'd sooner gut one of those drunks than make a deal with them. It just seems like such a waste. You know what's a waste? That we didn't kick them all back east for good when huh. we had the chance. <laughs> These people are savage. Damn. Hi. Straight Cavo. Aloy's here. I heard your brother. Heard the so, Aloy, you've added yet another deed to your name, and I'm guessing by the look in your eyes that you're not done yet. Not quite. Is there anything we can do? We owe you that much. After everything you've been through, you're one of the best people to support Hikaru's bid for peace. Not just between the clans, but with the Karja too. Then I will. You have my word. And until my last breath, I'll make sure the tribe remembers all that you've done for us. My strength is yours. Myself. Cool, cool, cool. You know, I kind of thought Chief Hikaru made up. Join JTF-10 for a covert operation. Do I have anything I can, can give I you? Can I ask you something? Of course. Locate the recordings. Trade in recordings. I have more voices for you to preserve. You honor the fallen. At least I think I do, right? Oh, right. So I can select something instead. 
Oh, I need this. Okay. Sure, let's get the sliver fang earth grinder. Why not? I can get that as well. Oh, nice. Wow. Okay, cool. Sold out. Stormbird. We can already override. I don't think we can override the Stormbird yet, but I feel like we will need that. Tide Ripper. Um, I say we go with Stormbird. Yes, cannon. Why not? Cool. There is so much we still have to learn about this war. Every voice you bring helps me to understand more. I'll see if the signal leads me to another recording. Good day, warrior. Sorry for the crunch. Let the wisdom of the grove show the desert clan is grateful, Aloy. Always. The flame of the desert now flies hey, on the wings of the ten. Well, wonders never cease. I thought you wanted to stay neutral. In the end, I decided that if you thought Hakara was worth fighting for, then that was good enough for me. I'm honored. The honor is mine. I'll join too, then. I hope you know what you're doing. I wasn't asking Sparing Regala caused this mess to begin with. And so the Wings of the Ten found us when things were at their direst. I'm not some legend come to life, Chitaka. That may be, but we will always be in your debt. May your blade be bright. Was shown mercy yet again. Aloy, I was hoping I'd find you after the battle. The chaplains will preach of this battle for as long as the tribe lives on. The chaplains will preach of this battle for as long as the tribe lives on. Tribe lives on. Dakota, thought you'd be back at the bulwark. Let it be known that the Sky Clan defended the Grove today. <laughs> this guy. As hopeless a battle as it was, until you flew in on the wings of the Ten, that is. We are in your debt. You fought for your tribe. So your debt is paid. On your way then. There is nothing more to say between us. Glory, honor, truth. They shine in you in the visions. Marshal Avira. What did I tell you, Aloy? You get into the craziest of fights. And I saw it with my own eyes. Best day ever. Mm -hmm. I'm just glad I got here in time. So what's next for you then? The scabs on the glowing island? Soon, yeah. Then their days are numbered. Good luck. The scabs on the glowing I'm island. I'm heading to the grove <laughs> to see for myself. You know, I wonder what brings the chief's chance. You always but find you. A swift victory. What did? Okay. Wait, there's a mission here that I do want to see. Aloy. Hello. Pass, champion. Hikaru and Aloy. Out there. I'm going to petition to join the chief's army. Walk with honor. Good day. Champion, I fear we must lean on your strength and generosity again. Just tell it to her straight, Ducca. The tribe needs the arena. She's our only hope to getting it open again. You need the arena, but the cool route's over. That's true, but we also use the arena to boost the tribe's morale. We use it for training. Herd in machines so our soldiers can experience the glory of the kill in a controlled setting. Which, of course, boosts morale. But Chief Hikaro won't let us reopen the arena until the ballista protecting the field is repaired. We need it in case a machine runs amok, and it was damaged during the cool route. The parts we need aren't easy to find. I get it. You need me to hunt down some machines and grab the parts. We'd ask someone else, but every squad in the Grove is on alert. But the task is not without compensation, right, Kala? Of course. Once the arena is open again, I would be honored to invite you to compete. A wide variety of machines will be available. And I will award you prizes for victory. Not just from the arena, but also for medals won at hunting grounds. You'll be able to trade them for some of the tribe's very best gear. Cool. To fix the ballista, we'll need a sinew from a roller bag, along with some bristleback tusks. 
Both kinds of machines have been spotted near a campfire to the southeast. You can bring the parts back to me here when you're done. Maybe I've already okay. done it. I'll see what I can do. One more thing. If you're going back into the wilds, I have another duty tied to our soldiers' morale. A regrettable one. Every Tanakh soldier carries a tag carved with their squad symbol. Rebels have been hoarding the tags of the soldiers they kill. Regala may be gone, but the holdouts have kept up the practice. You might find such tags at any enemy outpost. If you do, bring them to me. I'll make sure they're returned to the soldier squad mates and loved ones. Having confirmation sometimes soothes their grief. And there are bounties involved, if that matters to you. I've already found some of those tags. Here, a small reward for your efforts. But don't let your guard down. There are still many outposts in the wilds. Thank you, champion. And please don't forget the parts for the ballista. Cool. Can't wait to get that ballista fixed. I do hope you'll get the ballista parts, champion. Okay, cool. Um, what's this? It'll be good to have the arena open again. Aloy, need to turn in some tags or trade some medals? Maybe you want some from hunting grounds. But if you want to turn in the parts, we need to open the arena. You'll have to talk to Kala. Oh, sorry. I don't actually have any tags right now. No problem. Let me know when you find some. What about the medals? Yeah, we got medals. Nice. Oh my god, look at this weapon. What? Oh, but you need arena stuff. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that looks really cool. I want to open the, the thing now. Whoa. Armor. Ooh, card just stalkerly. Look at that. That's so cool. Instant brittle chance. Oh, wow. These are like really, really good um, coils. Hmm. Okay, cool. Good luck on the hunt. Of course they would add a, an arena. Well, I guess I should go. That's pretty cool though. Safe travels. Okay, so what should we do? We still have a few. There's a singularity. Right, that's a main. What side? Fly to the shipwreck. Okay, we can do that because that was for... Yeah, that was for them. What was lost? Talk to Katala. <gasps> Is Katala going to build his arm now? Oh, okay. Let's do that. Can we fast travel? Yes, we can. So sick. No guess I need to head southeast to find that roller back. And I think I saw a herd of bristlebacks not far from here. Let's go help our boy get his arm. I enjoyed... Well, I was going to say killing. Defeating... Um, What's her name? What was her name again? The evil woman? I literally just did this and I've already forgotten her name. Okay, here we go. We can go to this. I was about to say, how have I not found these? These campfires. But there's plenty nearby. What's her name? Regala? No. If the Banu can survive freezing, that was her name. So can I. I'm not a frost claw. This is where we want to go. I forget I could call my Sunwing if I wanted, couldn't I? Can I or can I not? I can. <gasps> cool. But I would need a mount more than a sun wing right now. This is the mountain where that Tanakh wrestled with a stormbird. Poor thing. Okay, let's call. This is where Kotalo wanted us to test out his new arm. Kotalo. Hey, Kotalo. I'm by the Tremor Tusk site where we agreed to meet. Want to test that new arm of yours? I'll be there shortly. Augers? Thank you for waiting. Maybe now you can tell me what we're doing here? Not just yet. Follow me, please. How very mysterious. Someone's being awfully mysterious. Mm -hmm. You took your sweet time telling me what you wanted to do to the bulwark. Consider this 
my revenge. <laughs> Fair enough. This is it. What am I looking at? Oh, you'll see. Come. What are we doing? All right, talk to me, Catalo. I wish to test the arm on that. Is there an ice? It has masked the valley oh. for some time. Killed more than a few of the Sky Clan. But no longer. I'm honored to help. What a way to test your arm out. Hey! Poggers! Let's go! After you. He's uh, reminded me of Full Metal Alchemist right now. Let's see how this thing likes the taste of metal. Okay, so we want ice and electricity. Both of which I have right here. Fire's not gonna help here. That's explosive. That's a usable weapon, so actually. Let's go for this straight away. Yes, the weapon was removed. Bulgars. Oh, hello. No one is climbing that mountain. There's too much to raise. I'm going to to find out what happened to you. Where's your weapon? Here it is. Is that the weapon? Where's the weapon? Ah, oh, there it is. It's over here. Oh, God. I've got no medicine. Nice. Outlander, for you. Oh, I'm freaking dead, bro. I have no heal. Get out of there. There we go. Okay, let's see if we can kill you. Nice! That was so close. We got its explosive part. Good job. Well, I think it's safe to say the new arm works fine. Agreed. Then why are you taking it off? This is what I am now. What I overcame. Anything else feels... Wrong. Like a disguise. Wow. I'll use the new arm when I need it. But the rest of the time... I will simply be myself. What a man. I wouldn't have it any other way. What a legend. You have my thanks for doing this with me. Here. Something to mark our victory. Thank you. I'll see you later then. The ten be with you, Aloy. What a babe. Katano is also one of my favorites. can't make that nor that jesus man oh i need medicinal berries right so once i have medicinal berries i can make those potions eh. i kind of just like berries by themselves because then i can use them to heal the potions i have to like scroll across to and all sorts anywho um we've done that nice and simple what let's do this fly to the shipwreck there's also another it was either a side mission or an errand where i needed to fly first to fly yes 
I think it's this. Yeah, that's the thing. Okay, we should do that. Oh, it's literally here. It's like not too far from here. Sure, let's call our mount. I don't need a stamina potion. Let's call our sunwing. Whoa! Should be around here soon. Here we go. It's just around here. Okay. We can land then. <laughs> Sorry, babe. Nice. Okay, now. Where are the parts? Ooh. Nice. What are we looking for? Not down there. Is it just one part or multiple? Oh, there's something here. Ah, here we go. A fragment of Farika's armor. There must be more. I don't like the sound of that. That's a, a, a sun. That's that's a storm bird. I'm pretty sure. That's going to be fun. Focus might find something I missed. Yeah, well, I'm looking around. Whoa. Oh, hi, must babe. Must be the storm bird that killed Farika. Can I aim whilst on this? Or no? What are you weak to? Oh god. Not like this. Not like this. Acid and plasma. I need a acid arrow that can shoot far. This don't shoot far enough. I need better weapons. What's a bow that shoots acid? It doesn't even have to be a bow. That does. We could use this. You? Yeah, use that. Yeah, I say we just use this. Yes, we hit it. We hit both of them, poggers. Okay, um, let's try this. That looks like pain and suffering. What else could we do? I've only got splitting spike. Um, what else are you weak to? You're weak to this. Please stay still. I missed. Sag. No ammo left. Not good. Reload. Did you like say so? Ah, oh, freak's sake. Ah, oh, you're always running away. Give me more of these.
I need something that can shoot far, but I don't have anything that shoots that far. What even is this weapon? I've never seen this weapon type before. Thanks for the luck, Sparky. Can we not aim? I wish you could aim whilst flying. That would be so epic. I've got this. A berserk hunter arrow. I don't think I'm... Oh, Jesus. Hi, bro. Reduces standard damage. Okay, cool. We need acid. I need to use this again. Shoot that canister. I believe you can hit it. Can you stop moving, please? That would be great. Why is hitting this canister so unbelievably difficult? Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Where are you? There you are. Stay right there. Let me hit you, please. No way. It came off. There's no way I hated it here. Oh my god, I'm getting shocked so badly. Um Nice. Wait, I can override you? Piss off. No way. I could have overridden it. How are you not dead yet, bro? Nice chain reactable with ice. I do have ice. Yeah, okay. Well, let's swap to ice. Please hit that. Did I not hit it? I'm too far away. Of course it's going to fly away. Not even am I? Okay, I'm really high up. I didn't realize how high up I am. Shoot it! Shoot! Aloy! What are you- oh, for fuck's sake. Aloy, why are you glitching? Okay, there we go. Please, just hit- oh, you're kidding me, bro. This thing's still alive. Holy crap. It's taking us forever to kill it. Nice. Yay! We did it! Finally. I might have a scrap of Freaka's armor. One more bit of armor lodged in the machine. 
Okay, and there's two more pieces left to find. Check them out. Got to be a piece over here. Ooh. No, nada. Are we in the right place? Yeah, we are. Oh, there's a piece over there, I think. Yes. Give me that. Cheers. Armor fragment. Who knows where the last piece is, but we will find it. Oh, that pigeon disappeared. Or that bird, whatever bird it was. We could just fly around now that I think about it. It's a box, so it's not it, but we could still go for it anyways. Sorry, bro. Cool. Let's grab this. Where could this last part be? It's like the whole of the mountain. It could be down here for all we know. Ah. I didn't even need the sun wing to get up here. I could have just used this. I I have no clue. Where is this last part? Is that it there? No, surely not. Maybe my focus can help here. I'm using my focus. What do you mean? Thank you for the follow, by the way. Drax, the Destroyer, how are you? Isn't that a Guardians of the Galaxy reference? Where is this? Is that it? Ah, is that it? There we go. Here we go. Looks like another bit of armor. Cool. Finally. I guess that's it then. I should let the Tanakh know I recovered what's left of Farika's kit. First to fly. I mean, we can fly there or we can just teleport there. I say we just teleport. Easy clap. I held square. Okay, Jesus. Thought I died for a second. I was about to cry. Um, this is where we want to go. Yes. I'll be like, how did you do that? How can you fly? What? That's crazy. Speak on. Speaking of, hello. We saw you fly. Did you find Farika? I was able to retrieve her armor. What's left of it anyway? She didn't stand a chance against that stormbird. Ah, oh, I see. A painful end. But not without glory. So, what do you think? Was she the first to fly on the wings of the ten? She was brave. And spent a fair amount of time in the air. I'd say what she did qualifies. She flew! I knew it! 
The first to fly. As her successor, you should keep her armor. You can fix it up at the workbench. This way. Pug, armor. Once you repair the armor, you're welcome to it. You take after Farika. Bold, brave, and a diplomatic liar. I thought she said she old fate. for a second. Let her have the title. Fair enough. It's kind of you to show such humility. We're Aloy, the best human that ever existed, so. If we want to reclaim our honor, then we must do so in battle with Rivala. Uh -huh, whatever you say. Where's the workbench? Fingers down here. I need the stash as well. So I can complete, uh, get some medicine. Cool. Weapon upgrades. Ooh. Oh, yeah, we could upgrade that. More upgrades. More upgrades. I don't even use this weapon that often, but I can fully upgrade it. Why not? Cool. Fully upgraded. Why am I upgrading this? I don't even have it equipped, do I? Nope. Ooh. But I need... Uh, I should focus on the other stuff first. Ooh, yeah, we can definitely upgrade you. Thank you for the follow. Um, no. Don't care about you. Cool. Ammo crafting, sure. What else do we need? That berserk thing was interesting. I do need these, like a lot of these. So we'll get you. Piercing drill spike. Not enough room in your ammo pouch. What do you mean? Oh, right. For the leftovers, right? Because I forget when you make these, it actually goes a bit overboard. That's enough for now. Pouch upgrades. Yes, please. Rope pouch. Why not? Quest item. There we go. Tanakh Sky Climber. Ooh, that looks cool. How much can we upgrade you by? Yeah, didn't think so. Gosh, it takes a lot to upgrade your your stuff. We did it. Okay, so what other quests did we have? Let's do this one, fly to the shipwreck, and then we'll be good to actually finish the game i think because the errands i can do all that offline she who flies on the wings of the tent. where is the fireplace there's one right here let's fly here or fast travel here and then we can fly cool mm -mm -mm -mm. let's do this thing. You ready for guard duty? Call the sun wing. Oopsie. There you are on the mend already. Mount cannot enter this location. Yeah, what? Yeah. What's up, Spectre? How are you? Did you see that? Okay, well, I guess I gotta Can I do it in the water? Can you pull me out of the water if I swim? Oh, oh my god. I guess not. Nope, okay. Well, we're not doing that then. 
good yeah i'm great thank you how's um where are you from if you don't mind me asking how do you find the channel as well it's great to make your acquaintance um did you happen to find us through the giveaway potentially we're running a giveaway for headphones at the moment okay cool can you do it now no not yet not yet there we go Whee! awesome awesome do you stream at all as well you're from the states united states awesome um if you wanna the giveaway i was talking about if you wanna like check it out it is right here we're doing giveaway a giveaway for wireless headphones at the moment and we are also doing a giveaway for a wireless mouse if you're so inclined that's the tweet for the giveaway if you are interested in that let's see how do ooh, this is one hell of a shipwreck jeez but there's a shipwreck right machines better be careful a wrecked quen ship should be able to look for that gyro compass with my focus. There's a gyro compass now. He's noticed me. Apparently, someone did. I can barely focus on anything. Here. The machines could have scavenged it out of the wreckage. I should check any scrap piles left around the island, just to be sure. Goofy. Are we fighting? What are we fighting? Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Dude, don't feel the need. Like, it's legitimately not just for my followers or whatever. It's, it's for anyone who enters. Like, there are loads of people from Twitter who you know hardly follow me that are entering so really don't feel any sort of way it is all good if you want them if you don't want them that's completely understandable as well um because i know it's not for everyone not everyone needs them Ooh! oh my god the ship is so cool have you played horizon before forbidden west Now, what were we doing? Exactly, we were looking for... I oh, know, we need to kill the machines, apparently. Oh, because they could have scavenged the thing we're looking for. That makes sense. Oh, yeah, you have the Steel Series Pro. Yeah, I do as well. You play the first one? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Also, what's that emote? Oh, that's so cute. What do you stream, Spectre? You got your emotes. What do you stream? What are we killing? I oh, search scrap piles and kill the machines. Okay. Where are the scrap piles? I can say wholeheartedly this game is like vastly better than the first one. And I loved the first one. Mainly Fortnite and just chatting. Nice, nice, nice. You and Moon would get on. Moonberry. Oh, snap moss. I can get them on my side now that the override's fixed. Uh well, I'm very dead. I don't know if this is painful for you or what. Oh, no. Don't hurt me, please. Fire and electricity. Good to know. Um do we have electricity? Yes, we do. She's a good friend of yours? Yeah, I know, Moon. Uh, we're on the same stream team. Oh my lord, Jesus. Ha! 
Can I override you? Yes, I can. Yeah, you can stay defensive. Did I just get moved? I did as well. <laughs> okay, awesome. You defend. Maybe I should have put offensive. That's fine. And what are you weak to? Electricity and fire. Yeah, she's amazing. I love her. Um, yeah, we're part on the stream beans team. I need to reload. Small world? Yeah, it, it, it really is. How long have you been streaming for? Twitch is always like very small world vibes. Um, it's called the stream beans team. So it's, it's for like vegans pretty much. I think it's actually like gay vegans or like ha, some sort of it. LGBTQ vegans. I think that's the purpose of it mainly. Nice. Got it. About a year? Whoa, dude, you're like doing super well for a year. That's awesome. My first year of streaming was a bit... <laughs> A wee bit doo doo. I'm not sure it still works. I'm gonna take it to Harry and Crystal. Maybe they can fix it. Sorry, baby. Alright. I should take this gyro compass back to Harry and Christia now. Hopefully they can make it work. Yeah, it's a very cool team. I love I love the stream being team. What was I going to say? I think I was going to say we what do you think of the no build mode in fortnite are you a fan of it and uh, do you play customs mostly or you just play with like random people here he comes he's gonna grab me That is still very weird doing that. I don't know how she deals with just being grabs like that. Because I know Moon, Moon does like loads of she does customs only, basically. <laughs> Hello, friends. Oh, you didn't like it. Oh. It's Aloy. She likes it a bit rough. Okay, dude. Where did that come from? <laughs> By the ancestors. You're back. Is that? I'm sorry. It's broken. Our last hope. No. There has to be a way to fix it. How? We just need to replace the batteries and the sensor unit. <laughs> just replace the batteries right, for her. Just lying around a jungle for us to find. Wait. The ancient fleet. It might have what we need. What ancient fleet? When we abandoned our ship, we were washed ashore on a beach southwest of here. There were ships built by the ancestors there. Overseer Bohai will never let us go there. He won't risk losing any more navigators. He needs us to guide the fleet home. No one's going home without a working gyro compass. I can get them for you. You'll need to look for a sensor unit. They're usually on a ship's antenna. And batteries. Three of them. They're small, so they might be hard to find. I've got something for that. We put our faith in you once again, Ancestor. Wow, this is one hell of a collection oh, quest. <clears throat> I'll get this for you. 
Oh, thank you so much. Oh, crap. We also need this. I'll get it for you. Don't you even can worry about you it. Powerful weapons, if you so wish. Can you really? Hmm. Oh, I mean, to be fair, that is better. Like, that would be... That'd be pretty good, not gonna lie. What is that? Ooh. Ooh. I'd rather get that. That's not bad. Buy and equip. Replace that. And I also want you. Because you seem juicy. Cool. There goes all those upgrades. <laughs> I fully upgraded that blue weapon. I need to replace it with a purple. Nice. Oh no, we've run out of milk. Could you pop to the pop to Aldi to get some? Sure. I'm Aloy. What else do I do? <laughs> Whoa. Oh no, fudge. What are you doing, Aloy? There we go. How far is the ship back? Oh my lord. I should have teleported here. No, it's unknown. Even if I tell it. No, it's fine. I like flying. Flying's very cool in this game, to be fair, so. There's a reason they introduce it late game, because you literally could have just flown to the top of this building. Oh, look at the sky. That's so cool. This game's so pretty. My god. Yeah, I've been streaming for five years, dude. It's been uh, quite a journey. That's why I'm like, yeah, like in your first year, you've done crazy well. Did you say you do like community custom games or the oh hello another sunwing site let's fly down here go though yeah this game has gives you so much freedom it's really, really cool. Oh. I'm wondering, can I see a ship? Harriam and Christia said I'd find ancient ships in this area. I should take a look. I mean, is that one? That looks like it's one. Those ancient ships have got to be around here somewhere. Isn't that an ancient ship? Looks like it. There. A sunken ship. Maybe it has what Harriam and Christia need to fix the gyro compass. The ship's antenna. Let's hope the sensor unit is still intact. Whoa, look at the fishies. The sensor unit. But there is an old recording. This is the USS Anchorage. Hailing. Anyone who's left. The Medina, the Omaha, and the New Orleans are down, and the swarm just cracked the Harris open like an egg. It's like some sort of power source. Must be a battery. Incoming! Hold on! Oh, they got shot. Damn. I'm hidden. I the lead Horus is heavily damaged. If we can concentrate fire, maybe we can still take it down. I think we've got a ping on the Hamilton! Lost it! Sensors down! We're sailing blind! Oh god, what has happened? I guess I should find the batteries now. My focus should pick them up. Help me. Help me, Sunwing, please. Up we go. Okay, good. Because that was a rough situation to be in. Is 
something inside from the looks of things. not look like a safe way to go. There's a chance the current swept some of these power sources onto the ocean floor. Maybe between the two wrecks? Yeah, let's get out of that. Use of this. And go straight down here. There we go. Another battery. Battery when you can't go on. Oh, okay. Well, the fish has like disappeared. On there. Where's the other piece? Oh, it's here. There's the last one. Could shoot it with fire. Is that it? No, that's an ancient valuables chest. Is that it? Nope. Oh, is that it? I'll take a look inside that shipwreck. Nope. See if there's any power oh. sources there. There, no. Okay. Don't notice me, Senpai. I'm not gonna lie, it's really cute seeing the machines swim. They look like babies that can barely swim. It's kind of cute. <clears throat> Where the heck is this last part? Is that it? No, green shine cluster. Again, ancient valuable chest. It's probably, yeah, it's probably like over here in between, like they said. Probably nowhere near the ship or else I would have seen it by now. Is that it? There's something like way over there. I'll take a look inside that shipwreck. See if there's any power sources there. What's that? Ancient Valuables chest. It's gotta be over here somewhere. Surely within here. Oh, that's what we're after. There we go. Nice. Gather resources for the gyro compass. Is that... Wait, what? More? What else do we need? There's a super valuable chest here. Pog. Something there. Oopsie. They sound like they're so close. That's got to be it, surely.
Nope. Yeah, she we found the antenna and then when she she said maybe like the the sensor module was missing or something like that. I think she said it might be in between the two of them. I could try that, but I don't think that's it. What the frick is... I saw a valuable chest there. I don't know where it's gone though. Okay, clearly I'm lying. Um, <laughs> what the frick, man? They're not really giving us much direction. It's fair enough, I guess. I need to go back to the satellite. It's just healthy plants. Yeah, there's literally nothing. <laughs> it's like here that we found the satellite. Yeah. And what did she say about it? Oh, thank God. For the stealth kelp. Or else I would have been in court. Is that it? What is that? Yeah, th there are no droids here. These are not the droids you're looking for. Oh, it's the opposite, isn't it? This is not the human you're looking for. What's this? Nothing. It's literally just to push yourself through current. <sighs> What's this? Let's say you use your focus and then your focus in reality does jack to help you. At least we're exploring a beautiful underwater area. Those are just holograms, I guess. Yeah, I ain't got a flying donkeys as to what I'm meant to do right now. We're looking for something, but I cannot see it anywhere. Maybe we try inside this building, but other than that, it's not the green stuff. Current's pushing up us back this way, so can't be too far out. We didn't really come this way, I guess. But look at how far out we are of the circle. I'm so confused. We're just about back in it, and I still have 
Yeah, that is an ancient valuables chest, sir. I'm very confusion. I swear, if it's in this chest, I'll be so upset. Ah, huh? what was that? Oh, catch moonfish. Rip. Too late. Oh my god, is it gonna be in here? Surely not. Give me a hand, bro. It's in there. Yeah, it is. There we go. That is not it. Where? Dude, I'm so confused. There's literally nothing. The game is lying to me. Is the game broken? I, really, I am confused. I'm extremely confused, dude. Because the first thing we did was land on the satellite and she said something and now who knows, man. Now nothing. Oh. It's just a green shine cluster. That's not what we're after. I mean, we can get it, but... See nothing. Oh no. Nah, it doesn't seem like she is, even when we go back to the satellite, which is really weird. So we need to be rescued again. I just want to get out of here. What, like, what is happening? I'm so confused. Ooh, there's an island there. I'm going to this island for the lols. Oh, maybe not then. Exiting the play area, really? But well, what about that island? Also, question, what happens if we raid, like, the island here? What happens if we fly over it? I wonder. Who knows? Oh, uh, this mission is pissing me off, bro. I do not understand. Are we meant to go well, to another ship? Well, I guess you just have Focus to be prepared to die. From that transmission I found. If there's more shipwrecks there, one might have an intact sensor. Oh, so you're literally meant to go to another... Go to another place. Well, why didn't... Oh, so freaking confusing. Why didn't you say that earlier, Aloy, you little bitch? Anyways, let's go here. Because I was thinking, what... Yeah, th that's the thing. She was like, oh, the sensor's not intact or whatever. Wings holding up. Boop, boop. And we're going to find it here, maybe. Well, we might not even tower. find it here. 
with a dreadwing perched on it. Great. I'm gonna have to deal with it before I can look for the sensor the Quen need. What the frick is that? Oh god. Oh god. It's already here. Jesus. I can't use my focus, so I don't know what you're weak against. I need more ammo. Any ammo. I cannot see Jack. I don't know what to use against you, bro. Nice. These bombs are great. Yeah, you can't be very invisible if you got poison all over you. Okay. I missed. Rip. I mean, you're a bit big to be invisible. Full stop. To be honest. Now I need more. Come down a bit. There we go. Nice. Whoa! Did we do it? Nice. Okay, I should be able to check out that antenna now. Couldn't even see it's like how much health it had left. Cool. G G. Do we level up one of these, maybe? Um, I'm not too fussed by that, to be honest. Infiltrator. Machine Master could be useful now, especially since I'm mounting more often. Let's try right at the bottom of this. So what's this? Potion proficiency. Yes. Oh, that stuff. Low boost, low health defense. Sure. Let's just get this. I have 14 skill points, which is quite a lot. There we go. Sticky bomb technique. I... Don't use you, but could do, I guess. Where's the spike for one? I want to learn more spike for techniques. Spike trap. That's pretty cool. What else do you have? Launch a powerful long range strike. Spike even. Oh, hell yeah. That looks great. What's this? I'm not going to use that. Sure. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, now, let's find the shipwreck or the sensor unit. Imagine the sensor unit wasn't here. I would actually cry. those ropes oh, let me just fly why am I doing the old school way of climbing lol there we go an intact sensor unit finally this should be all that Harry and Christian need it looks like there's one more transmission here this is the Hamilton. Anchorage, 
Your transmission has been received. Targeting the lead Horus. Just lost the starboard missile battery. Can't fire. We're empty. Damn it. Captain, there's nothing left to fire. Your orders. What is up in the building? For the Horus chassis. Ramming speed. Oh, there we go. That was weird. That bird's hacking. It is. It really is. I love this bird. It's so cool. Hi, by the way, Cash. Easy. <clears throat> Ramming speed. What is quite a move? Quite a move. Whoa. Whoa. I found what you need. This was the worst quest. <sighs> Thank you. Yeah, I'll there's get my money. The compass immediately. Give me my money, oh, come bitch. Home, Leandra. <sighs> You've done us a great kindness, Aloy. Yes, Christine I have. Christine is not the only one with people waiting back home. She'll be able to fix that gyro compass in no time. Give me we'll goodness. We'll never be able to thank you enough. Yeah, you will. But this should be a start. A start? If you need anything, tell Bohai to contact Alva. I need monthly sure income. <laughs> May the ancestors steer us true. I can't believe we're actually going home. <laughs> First, we need to put cool. Right. More skills. That's ah, fine. Okay, are we completing this game? I think we are. We've done all the side quests that we've at least encountered. It's freaking time. <laughs> Oh my god, I think it's happened. I don't know if this is a final final. I presume it's the final final mission. Hoggies. And then after this we'll play, I don't know, Ghostwire Tokyo or it'll probably oh have okay, to be it is the happening. What's the procedure, everyone? What's the procedure? Um we will be doing what's it called? I think Ghostwire Tokyo or Lego Star Wars. Lego Star Wars could be a carryover or um, Kirby would also be really fun. Hey, uh, Mr. Know-It-All is here. You know, you're focused, buddy, who never smiles. I didn't know what to do with him, so I had him wait in your room. Got it. Thanks. Ew, Mr. Know-It-All, buddy. Who the heck's that? Oh, silence. Well, yeah, silence. of course. Looks like you finally found a door you could open without me. I'm glad it's there, actually. It kept me from having to mingle with the company you keep. But enough <laughs> prattle. I believe you owe me an explanation. Your plans for the Zenith base? You're right. I do owe you. My spear in your throat for deceiving me again. At the Hades proving lab. I doubt you asked me here for that kind of reckoning. <laughs> no. Right now, I need your help. So I'm giving you one final chance. But if you ever betray me again, I will kill you no matter what the circumstance. Understood? I doubt it. Very well. Though we'll both face a decidedly short future if you can't get us inside that base. Aloy, your other guest is here. She's, um... Coming to you. Oh. Thanks. Good timing. Oh god, the yeah. The truth is, I can't actually get us into the base. But she can. Oh, Tilda. The company you keep is even worse than I thought. Not a fan of surprises, are you? Well look. That must be your little invention. Does the weapon work? 
Without self-destructing? Of course it does. I've eliminated the imperfections and greatly improved its design and output. How can we be sure? Care for a demonstration. <laughs> Enough, both of you. We're in this together, at least for now. Go talk to Erend. Tell him I said to give you rooms of your own. I'll come see you when I get a chance. Wait, you think her and him were gonna smash? That does not look like a very powerful weapon. I'm not gonna lie. If you can just ca carry it on your back like that. Oh no, you first. Oh, the bear from earlier, right. Better get everyone in the control room so Tilda can tell us what she knows about the Zenith base. <laughs> so uh, pack for catching ghosts. You're so funny. I cleaned it already. Yeah, of course. Where's Katala? I really want to speak with him. What's up? Aloy, you came back with some interesting. Oh, friends. why aren't you a bear? I, I could say we don't need them. But Silence and Tilda are here for a reason. Even Regala. Yeah. Enemy of my enemy and all that, right? Right. I guess Silence is keeping to himself, as usual. I was hoping you'd give me an excuse to hammer his sorry ass to the ground. Please don't. You telling me you wouldn't want to get just one good hit on that smug face of his? You're so After everything thirsty, he's done. Cash. You have sure. a husband. Later. How dare you? Right now, he's got something we need. Appreciate fictional characters. <laughs> What's wrong with your shoulder? I'm joking. Yeah, it hurts a little. Yeah, maybe a lot. What'd you do? Well, I tried to arm wrestle with Katalo. Yeah, maybe that wasn't such a great idea. <laughs> I was just curious to see if that new arm of his was as strong as it looked. Turns out it really is. <laughs> Someone has to hold the camera. Oh my lord. Doesn't look like any of our guests are making trouble. Yet. So, Catalo tells me you flew. Well, that's new. I've been busting my bulks trying to learn to read. You're, you're out there having all the fun. Don't worry. You'll be getting all the fun you can handle soon. With the Zeniths. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. I'm dying. It'll be a bear sandwich and I'll be the filling. Oh my god, I can't with you. You uh, talk to Tilda at all? I tried. I don't think even a hot forge could melt that ice. And you say she wants to help? I think so. Well, let's hope. Let's play strike. Piss I off. Get going. <laughs> oh, you know where to find me. Okay. So, what you got for me, girl? Again, don't you have my side mission Aloy. to complete? It appears that we have some interesting new guests. I'm glad to see you're okay, though. I heard you gave the Tanakh something to talk about. I was half expecting you to burst in through the ceiling riding a sunwing. Sorry to disappoint. Have you talked to any of our new friends? Aaron and I tried speaking to Silence. But apparently our tribal prattle is unnecessary. Yikes. Charming, isn't he? He's such a dickhead. I fucking hate silence. Ready to head over to the Zenith base? Whatever comes, we will endure. Og? Thoughts on our new Zenith acquaintance? I'd say she smells like death, but even death smells of something. She's more like a cold piece of metal. Bent on repelling all semblance of life. She's definitely different. How to go with the chorus after we fix the land gods? They were shocked when I told them that our lands would soon be on the mend. I thought Fane's eyes would pop out of his head. But of course they had no choice but to take it as good news. Even if it meant all their preaching about meekly accepting our doom was exposed as rot. To be honest, I found the conversation to be highly enjoyable. I'm glad. You deserve it. They're lucky that you never gave up on saving them. Okay. I thought there was more I to, to it. I trust you to keep things civil around here. I'll make sure Aaron doesn't punch Silence in the face, if that's what you mean. <laughs> Thanks. 
Where's Catalo? Oh, Alva, what have you been Aloy, up to? Do you have a moment? You, you flew? Catalo told me. And took out Regala's machines? You know what? I don't even know why I'm surprised. I saw we have visitors and a new weapon. Does this mean we're ready to take the fight to the Zeniths? Almost. Oh, and I wanted to give you this for helping me get the data on Leviathan. I didn't really know what to give you, so I asked Zoe what you might like. Thanks, Alva. What is it? I'll put it to good use. We'll find out later. What is the data? Yeah. Have you looked through the data we recovered on Leviathan? There is much to sort through still, but I believe we'll be able to get it operational and turn back the floods. Nice. And I've given more thought to everything we've uncovered about the ancestors. The overseers would have us believe they were infallible paragons, but Pharaoh wasn't, not even close. His greed led to machines that devoured the world. The archive of the old one's knowledge destroyed just to erase his mistakes. Yep. So when we learned that Eileen had a hand in covering up hundreds of deaths, I started to think they were all the same. Selfish, egotistical, cruel. But in the end, it's not that simple. The truth isn't a straight line of ink on a crisp scroll. Ayana. It's a splatter, smudged, and faded on stained parchment. I wish Morquen could see that, instead of looking the other way, or twisting the truth to serve their own schemes. I doubt Bohai would agree with you. No, nor the rest of the Board of Overseers. As Eileen said, it's easier to believe the lie is truth. But it's worth fighting for. And this diviner, at least, won't settle for anything less. For that, I thank you, Aloy. No worries, babe. I'm great, thank you, Yana. How have you been? I miss you as well. How have you been? What you been up to? Um, yeah, we're raising money for Save the Children, who are helping out with Ukraine. And more than just Ukraine, but obviously Ukraine is a big part of it right now. So, um, if you donate at least $10, you'll be entered into a giveaway for your choice of either a wireless mouse or wireless headphones. So, yeah. It is absolutely worth it. Oh, and if you do exclamation point incentives, <laughs> I'll do it for you. You can see all of the, um, incentives that you can redeem with your donations. You saw that Tilda is here. Our very own Zenith. I almost went up to her to ask her, well, every question I've ever had about the legacy. <laughs> every diviner I know would kill to get five minutes with one of the old ones. But now that she's here, all I feel is a vague unease. I don't know if I'm scared of finding out more uncomfortable truths or just scared of her. Probably both. Okay, that's good. That's good. Yeah, it's good to have a break from Twitch every now and then, Discord, whatever, you know. You sure you're okay going on this mission? I know things must be happening pretty fast for you. Uh, I've already braved oceans and madmen who thought they were ancestors reborn. Why not a few immortals with lethal drones at their command too? Guess the more the merrier. What's the worst that could happen? Are you okay? I was wondering, is it really safe having someone like Regala here? She seems angry. Is Regala the here? kind of angry that leads to murdering people in their sleep. <laughs> Don't worry. We're going to point that anger in the right direction. The Zeniths. If you say so. That's fair. That's very fair, Yana. I hope our new guests have been behaving. The silence. He's the one who built the weapon that can take down Zenith shields? He is. Though I wouldn't expect him to answer any questions about it. He refuses to dole out his secrets to us lesser mortals. Oh. You know that special part of us that makes us warm, kind, welcoming? Our spirit? Yeah, silence yeah. doesn't have that. He was born without that. Yeah, yeah.
Anything new around here? Kotalo showed me the schematics for his new arm. I recall reading about robotic limbs within the legacy, but I never thought I'd see one in action. Mm -hmm. Technology like that would be treasured back home. Think of what it could do for injured workers or soldiers. But knowing the Imperial family, they would use it for different purposes. Their own. Mm -hmm. Replacing body parts as they grow older. Like the Zenith. <sighs> exactly. Cool. Well, later, Alva. I need to wrap up a few things, but stay sharp. I'll be ready when you call. Okie dokie. Now, where's Katala? Is this where Regal is? Did you need something? Bravo. You managed to sway a zenith to your side. Care to explain? Not a chance. I thought you said the weapon was ready. There's always room to optimize. But that's not why you're here. I assume you want to comprehend my undertakings. So, ask away. Since when were you so forthcoming? Since you turned this into a waiting game. And as it seems you have found modest success perhaps i'm willing to be generous i'm not gonna lie the glowing like chin thing is pretty cool your plan okay so your big plan everything you've been manipulating for the last few months let me see if i got this straight you learned about the zenith from hades when you interrogated it then you came up with a plan to defeat them by using a tanakh army and that weapon and to get the Tanakh to fight for you, you, or rather the sons of Prometheus, armed Regala's rebels with override tech. Did you have an actual question or are you still playing catch up? <laughs> so all this time, even before I found the coordinates at the Spire, you were out here scheming. Why couldn't you just tell me? When I learned of the Zenith's return to Earth, I laid out my plans. I knew I... Yana, thank you so much for the twenty dollars. I can't personally offer much right now, but I hope this helps. Of course, Yana, thank you so so freaking much. I appreciate you for that twenty dollars. That will go a long way to helping save the children do the awesome work that they do. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Also, the Apex, you are so dirty. I love you. <laughs> would one day require an army of overzealous Tanakhs to assault the Zenith base. The casualties would be extreme. And I knew you would never allow such a sacrifice, no matter how necessary. Thus, that is loads, Yana. To Seriously. Your interference from the equation at the Hades Proving Lab. The Proving Lab? You wanted me to surrender to the Zenith at the Hades Proving Lab. They almost killed me. Based on everything I knew about them, I concluded they would find you a useful asset. Thereby keeping you out of harm's way and more importantly, out of my way. So you really didn't know they had their own clone of Elizabeth? No. Unfortunately, there was no way I could have known that particular detail. Detail? Well, I guess if it wasn't for that, we wouldn't be here today. I mean, it's a legit question. I don't know. Maybe I, it looks like it's just on his arms. Who knows? Every little helps exactly. And to be honest, that is a lot, Yana. Don't underestimate it. Like, that is a lot of money still. Um, I'll enter you into the giveaway as well. Let Why me create that. the Sons of Prometheus? You didn't need a bunch of Osirum tinkerers to make override tech. They were a necessary safeguard. My time serving Hades in the Eclipse demonstrated the risks of getting directly involved. Through the sons of Prometheus, I could execute my plans, all while remaining anonymous. Tell me about the weapon. How does it work? I've upgraded the delivery system. It now emits a wave-like effect covering a significant distance. That doesn't fully answer my question. No. But I'd be a fool to reveal its inner workings. After all, why did you withhold your plan for dealing with the Zenith drones? Yes. 
Even you can appreciate the value of secrecy when warranted. Mm -hmm. Suffice it to say that the weapon will work. The intricacies of how is knowledge that is mine alone. All right, mate. <laughs> Regala. Why help Regala take over? If you wanted an army, you could have just gone to Hakaro. Before Regala's rebellion, Hakaro was only concerned with battling machines and fostering friendships with Akarja. Even if I gained his ear, he would never agree to send his forces to battle a threat he couldn't understand. So helping a bloodthirsty exile was easier? Yes. Exceedingly so. All Regala craved was war against the Karja and anyone who threatens the Tanakht. She would have led the tribe into battle without question, which mm. was precisely what I needed. I mean, that's fair enough. The While I was out there, I had a couple run-ins with the Quen. The tribe from across the ocean. And? Their entire tribe was shaped around the discovery of focuses. One of them, Alva, even joined me here. Don't you want to know more about them? No. They stumbled upon the greatest technological artifact from the ancient world, and what did they do with it? They shrouded the knowledge they unearthed in mysticism and taboo, creating a pantheon out of corporate shields. Mm. Yes, well, it also led them to Thebes. Did it now? So those run-ins with the Quinn I mentioned. On one of them, I teamed up with their expedition to search Thebes. We found Pharaoh at the end. You must have needed Omega clearance. So, what was it like? Worse than you can imagine. He single-handedly wiped out collective human knowledge. Yep. I'm sure it was still less than he deserved. Let me guess. You would have scraped him into a jar so you could prod his brain. Like what you did with Hades. For a start. <laughs> okay, be right, ready. Sirens, I think I've talked to you long enough. I'll let you know when it's time to go. And try not to mess with Tilda while you're in here, okay? I don't need the two of you butting heads. Ah, uh, yes. About your Zenith ally. I wonder if you understand what kind of person you're dealing with. For someone to live as long as she has, outlast as many calamities, well, your goals may be aligned now, but I'd watch for the moment they diverge. Yeah. Yeah, I'm aware. Reminds me of someone else I know. Survival is only a necessity to my greater purpose, Aloy. I'd hoped you'd recognize that by now. Do you know something or not? Oh, I know a great deal of things. But on this, just call it a feeling. Oh, a feeling? You mean you finally had one? Huh. Guess even you can change, Silence. Hmm. Everyone is warning me about Tilda. Where the heck is Katala? I want to say hi to him. Here? There you are. Hi, Tilda. Well done, Aloy. Despite my reservations, you managed to secure silence and his weapon. You're truly a shining example of Liz's fortitude. I've been thinking about what you said at your house. How you were friends with Elizabeth. It was more than that, wasn't it? Perceptive as ever. You're right, we were together for a time. Okay, so... What happened? I was an orphan. I had always been alone. By my 30s, I was starting to wonder if that was simply my fate in life. Mm -hmm. And then I met Liz. We kept running into each other at conferences. We'd have coffee. At some point, it became drinks. I thought it was just shop talk, an exchange of ideas, but... Did they have a fling? Then I was surprised at how much I looked forward to seeing her. Soon we were flying halfway across the world every other week just to meet up. Wow. For the first time, I didn't feel lonely. I could imagine a future where I wasn't. I think Liz Aww. felt the same way at first. Aww. 
She had lost her mother a few years back. I filled a void for her. I know I did. But as time passed, it seemed as though she wanted less when I wanted more. And so we ended things. So helping me, restoring Elizabeth's dream, it's what? A, a second chance, yes. I made a mistake leaving Earth while Liz stayed behind. I should have done more. So when I saw you, a woman who has carved her own remarkable path beyond even what made Liz a phenomenon, I knew I had to help you. To do right by her. Okay. The time of the Zenith. You said before that you're not like the other Zeniths. That you never were. But you went along with all of their plans. Out of necessity. I'm not proud of it. But complicity became a means of survival. Mm. Both when Earth was consumed and when the colony on Sirius was destroyed. I did what I had to. But I resolved to remain one step ahead of the others to try to undo what damage I could. Hence the data channel with Beta. The secret passage into their base and the little trick I pulled to save you. Fair enough. Oh my god, hi Master Bash. How are you, cutie? Good to see you, man. Bash and I were speaking in late into the night yesterday and it was great. Why did you make the data channel look like your house? I built that house as a shelter to weather any storm. A safe place, not just for me, but for the art stored in its depths. Cultural artifacts of incalculable value. Truly, some of the greatest achievements of human civilization. And you wanted Beta to see them? Yes. Her upbringing was so cold and technical. I thought if she could experience Vermeer and Rembrandt, it would bring something else into her life. Didn't we a talk heritage, about this? Every bit as valuable as the scientific and technical data being drummed into her. I'm sorry I had to cut off contact, but I'll never regret sharing this house with her. She needed its shelter even more than I did. This house. Why do you think Elizabeth pulled away? I've wondered that for a thousand years. She was brilliant visionary she cared so deeply for the world mm -mm. for the betterment of humanity but it also felt like she kept everyone at arm's length including me she never wanted to share her burdens True. i think it's like in Aloy. the end she had a core that she never let anyone be part of sometimes i wonder if anyone really knew her i found a recording of you and elizabeth Back in the Proving Lab, after Farzineth's attempt to steal Gaia. Yes. A most unpleasant conversation. She said something after the call. I think she regretted how things ended between you. Oh. Did she? All this time, thank you for telling me. Aww. I like I've always Tilda. Hated those were the last words we ever said to each other. And that her last impression of me was as a functionary of Far Zenith, not who I truly am. Bitch, what are you talking about? I annoyed you till 6 a.m. I love chatting with you. And then you put your camera on. I got to see your hands and face. It was great. What the hell are you on about? Also, um, she didn't take her NFT collection. She literally, she has a house in the previous playthrough or like day before yesterday. We woke up in her house and she has like this exquisite collection of artwork in her basement. Protected in like this super expensive basement. And yeah, it was, it was crazy. I love how they're just awkwardly standing looking at each other like. Mm. When it's time to break into the Zenith base, what can we expect? I'll go over the full layout once you've assembled your friends. Suffice it to say, we will need to push as fast as possible to Beta in Gaia's location, dealing with heavy resistance along the way. 
There are also printing facilities where the others have been amassing the natural resources they've stripped from the region. What for? First for use in the base's infrastructure and then to fabricate more Spectre drones, a small army of them. When I was out in the wilds, I saw a shuttle take off from the island, heading for space. It was likely ferrying materials to and from our ship in orbit. After hundreds of years luxuriating in our digital comforts, the ship was barely space-worthy when we made our escape. Disaster can strike at any moment. We've learned our lesson. I don't know who Val is. Um, Val is one of the main characters in this game. He died last episode. One of the Zenith who is... Zeniths are basically future... Yeah, Val died. We had a memorial for him and everything. Um, the other Zenith. And we almost died, but then Tilda saved us, basically. I can't believe that, that's such a shame because yeah, last episode was kind of Have you figured important. out how Silence's weapon works? No, and he's been very careful not to allow me near it. I'll admit it bothers me, but regardless of how it functions, I am confident it will deactivate the other shields on mass. How many of them are in the base? Ten, including Eric and Gerard. Only a handful of us made it to our ship when our colony collapsed. I need ten. Yeah, the other Zeniths. So Zeniths are humans that lived on Earth, took off in a spaceship to find another planet to live on. And then um, they're basically, they live longer. They've lowered their aging or decreased their aging process. So they're like thousands of years old. Yeah, Gerard. Do you want to hear about Gerard? What can you tell me about Gerard? He was the head of the world's largest financial conglomerate and as such had dealings with almost every major corporation. It made him one of the wealthiest people on earth and certainly the wealthiest among Far Zenith. What does one person do with that much money? Buy more, more power, more influence. Mm -hmm. Gerard's always believed himself to be a refined patrician, able to maintain control with a polished smile but beneath that exterior is a cold and calculating operator. It was his decision to restrict Beta's upbringing to digital <laughs> educators, the avatars of the Apollo database, while we were painted as her benefactors. Well, we'll deal with him soon enough. And the others. I would very much like to see his face when he realizes we've beaten him. I got too much money. Let me just buy Twitter. It's only like six billion. So, Eric, was he always a bloodthirsty psychopath? I believe he got worse over time. On Earth, he was the founder of a profitable private military company. A band of cutthroats, in other words. Even as governments abandoned human combatants in favor of automated warfare. He found success with clientele that required a more personal touch. There were right. also rumors that he personally hunted and killed his targets. On occasion, all for the thrill of it. Of course. But on Sirius, he retreated to virtual reality simulations. In them, he could go on rampages as violent as he pleased, though I suspect with diminishing satisfaction. All of us try believes he was one of the greatest people from the old world. Then they would be quite disappointed to meet him. Mm -hmm. Though I'm sure he'd bask in the adoration. Speaking of easy buying, I have to buy like, I say I have to. I'm going to buy PC upgrade parts so that I can give the other parts to my friend. So we're looking at like 300... 500 like just money flying out and i can't wait <laughs> when i was in the ruins of vegas i found data on a man named stanley chen yeah i think he was a zenith stanley 
ever the optimist. He was one of the good ones. When we established our colony, he built an exact replica of Las Vegas in virtual reality. Hmm. Lights, shows, gambling, every detail perfectly recreated. And while others cloistered themselves in their own fantasies, he flung his doors wide to everyone. The way you're talking about him, I'm guessing he didn't make it back to Earth? No, he perished when our colony was destroyed. Oof. He would have been thrilled to discover that part of his beloved city survived. <laughs> the banner. When Beta escaped and hid in an ancient research facility, I saw another one of the Zeniths. For Bena. Who was she? A dull star amidst a sea of brighter constellations. Unlike most of Far Zenith's members who amass their wealth through shrewd business deals and technological achievements, Verbena inherited her billions. Oh, of course. Her father had achieved great success in the luxury holotourism industry. At age 24, she became the world's most eligible bachelorette branding herself a life designer. Someone who leverages their fame to influence the choice of others. What, like a cult? In a way, yes. An influencer. Well, she must have done something right to have survived this long. She was her own brand of ruthless. That much is true. But even rats can cling to a vessel for escape. And the rest of them. Okay, so I've had run-ins with a handful of Zeniths. What about the rest? An array of the wealthiest people on Earth. Titans of their industries. And let me guess, all selfish and ruthless to the core? Email Most, Colony. No, there were a few with whom I got along. <laughs> Annika Merjani, for instance, was always delightful. She founded the Holonet's most successful dance channel and was herself mesmerizing to watch. And I had fascinating discussions with Song Jiao about her work in cellular biology. Our immortality treatments are due in part to her achievements. But then there were others like Devin Miller, the CEO of a fast food printing corporation. His only real preoccupations were perfecting his golf swing and taking self hollows. When I think about all of us, we really should have accomplished more. We had eternity. That's crazy. So they were all immortal. Okay. I'll let you know when it's time. I'll be here until then. And thank you, Aloy, for giving me this chance. My past has always been a struggle. More than once I've lost everything. But when I look to the future, I see Liz's dream fulfilled. A universe of new possibilities. Maybe we can make it happen. We will. I won't let anything get in the way. I promise you that. Who is Kaya? I still like Tilda. Everyone's warning me about her, but I genuinely, I do like her. She seems pretty cool. Yeah. I was thinking you could spar for a bit. When you have the time. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, of course. It might be a way to deal with my anger. <laughs> okay. Um, hi, Katalo. Haven't seen you since the battle at the Grove. How are you holding up? I from I saw you fly on the wings of the Ten, and paralyze Regala's army with lightning. I would say that I am <sighs> inspired. Thank you. I guess. It is I who should be thanking you. Look, I know you're probably not happy about keeping Regala around, but I want her on our side when we fight the Zeniths. It is more than she deserves. Even so, I will not question your judgment. Thank you, Catalo. I mean, he must be fuming at us because Regala killed so many of his people and we're asking her to join us, but hey. Anything new going on I should know about? The Quen has been more insistent than usual, asking about the visions at the Grove. 
Her pursuit of knowledge is relentless. The Ten would have a hard time fighting her off. Just think of her like one of your chaplains. Yes. Only more persistent. <laughs> Sounds like Alva. Things will get ugly once the Zenus realize we're in their base. You'll need every trick you've ever learned. I would have it no other way. Many soldiers died in the old world to make sure we stood here today. We will endure on their behalf. Though, I am curious how you intend to defeat the Zenith's defenses without an army of our own. Leave that to me. Just make sure you're ready to fight. As you say. You have more than earned my trust. Hell yeah, Baba. And then we'll ask about your arm eventually. Did you meet Tilda? There is something about her that doesn't seem natural. Really? I wouldn't be surprised if my sword went through her and... And she didn't bleed at all. Honestly, with her, nothing would surprise me. I bet people are curious about that new arm of yours. None more than our Quen ally, I assure you. <laughs> she couldn't wait to take it apart and figure out how it works. I gave her the data I used to build the thing, hoping that would satisfy her curiosity instead. Good luck with that. When you say insanely huge, do you mean it's popularity or like the size of the game? Because I enjoy Genshin. It'd be nice to get back into it, but we haven't played it for ages, but it's very grindy. Wings of the Ten. Your people keep mentioning the Wings of the Ten. What exactly does it mean? The visions tell us that the Ten flew on great metal machines with wings and leapt into battle from the sky. For us, to imitate this feat is the ultimate expression of martial prowess. It is why the challengers leap into the arena during the cool route. And now, you have done it. <laughs> like the deeds of the Ten themselves, it will never be forgotten. So, tell me, how did it feel? I won't lie, pretty good. I can only imagine. Cool. I love Katalo. <clears throat> He's so cool. Pretty much most of the people that we have. Erin, I'm not a huge fan of. Alva, she's okay. She's very optimistic. But Zoe and Katalo love him. I have to go. But I'll be briefing everyone on the plan soon. Understood. Sorry for this awkward looking position. Okay, let's go. Are we done? I think we're done. This is it. This is gonna be it. I think, possibly. Who's up in here? Vagala? Question mark? Okay. Where? Maybe it's time to get everyone together so Tilda can brief us. Wait, where's Vagala? I should handle before that. Just you wait, Varl. We're taking those. Vagala must be here somewhere, right? Maybe not. If Vagala is here, I do want to speak with her because I think it would be pretty cool to chat with her. Huh. There's Quen stuff in here now. Must be all of us. Where are the showers? So what is this? Oh God. Ever since the expedition landed and we encountered barbarians, so it's not. A question has been gnawing at me. Given the massive distance between here and the Great Delta, how is it possible that we all speak the same language? I mean, the legacy tells us that their ancestors had many languages. How did it all get reduced to one? For questions like these, it's handy to have a friendly super intelligence around. I love Gaia. She's so nice and patient, even when I can't stop talking and bombard her with overlapping queries. And while she can't explain everything I ask her, for this one, she had the answer. Apparently, the Zero Dawn system was designed to release people into the world as young adults after being educated via the Apollo database. I sure wish I could have got to that school. Um, language instruction was supposed to be a big part of the coursework. 
Students were to be encouraged to learn many languages, thus keeping alive the vibrant linguistics of the old world. But when Ted Farrow erased Apollo, he makes me so mad. Zero Dawn reverted to its default language, and that's all the kids in the cradle facilities ever got. So our ancestors, I mean, our tribal ones, not the legacy ones, all started with the same speech and never got to learn any more. Mystery solved, yet... Yeah another rotten completely unfair thing that shithead beg my pardon did to the world alva that's really interesting so working tomorrow no i'm not working tomorrow bro it's a weekend i don't work on the weekend anyways and it's an extra long weekend that was interesting actually because i never thought of that why they don't speak different languages and everyone was raised from the Zero Dawn pro program knowing English and only English because Apollo was wiped out. Tomorrow is indeed the weekend. Are you in here? No? What? Where is she? Where's Regala? Welcome back, Aloy. That's kind of annoying, not gonna lie. I've been tackling the design of the Ag Lab. Place is going to have a lot of seed stock to work with. Well, now I know where my, my favorites come from. Sample 626. Calotropis gigantea. The crown Canada flower. Have started distributing them. We used to have them refuge in our backyard. Place. Butterflies always fluttering around. Every morning, hmm. August would run out there to check under the leaves. Maybe she's down See if any caterpillars turned into chrysalises. Now... I'd like to imagine that the future will be filled with them. Is she in here? This place smells wrong. No sand or wind, only cold steel. Hmm. And the others. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. I was not ready for the raid alert. Love it. Your squad. They can hold their own. And as for this base, it may not be what you're used to. But it is a shelter. Call it what it is. A cage. You came here on your own. For the battle you promised. So for now I wait in my cage for your word. Tell me when to strike. Hmm. I'm so surprised. This was like the main villain of the game and she just like, once we beat her, she instantly switched to our side basically. And I was like, mm, okay. Well, she was like, anything's better than dying like this. So she's, she's just being loyal. Anyways, the rebellion against Sakara. The whole time I've been in the West, I've been fighting you and your rebels. I'd at least like to know why. You were among the enemy. What more is there to know? Why did you do it? Dorok, Jiroka, Makalo, and the Karja pushed into the desert to raid our people. My brother's squad was among the first to intercept them. But the Karja captured them, strung them up, and burned them alive as an example. Oh, damn. It was too late. I found them. By the sound of their screams. So you wanted vengeance? Vengeance? No. I wanted devastation. To tear down the Karja's cities and drown the land in blood. Oh, Hunt down every nothing. last survivor and grind their bones until the sky chokes on the dust. Oh, okay. But my chief betrayed me. Betrayed the Tanakh. She seems, she's a very peaceful woman. She She's great. Hikaru's betrayal. So Hikaru is the lead of her tribe, basically. And Hikaru wanted peace with the Kaja. But she 
the Kaja burnt her brother's squad alive and she wanted to kill all the Kaja is like a massive civilization from the first game we are Kajan, I believe well technically we were like an outcast from the Kaja I think I don't know no we're not Kajan at all anyways how did Hikaro betray you? Hikaro called on the clans to resist the Karja's red raids. But we did more than just defend. We hunted them. And they fled as children before a pack of claw striders all the way to their border. There we ripped down their stone walls. Their domain was ours for the taking. But when it came time to push on, Hikaro ordered us to fall back. What soldier retreats when slaughter is at hand? Mm. The kind who wants peace for their people. Mm -hmm. Peace is just a lull between vendettas. But I thought my chief had greater tactics in mind, so I stood by him even when he allowed that filthy Karja to join our ranks. Fashav. Mm. I enjoyed watching him die at the embassy. Wow. He should have been put down when we first captured him on the field. Instead, he Hikaro made him a marshal Fashav told me how he became a marshal he earned it just like any Tanakh it was an insult no outlander can ever deserve to wear our armor bear our marks and then Akarja messenger was brought before us that's when I knew I had to run my blade through Akaru and drag his treacherous corpse to the Gates of the Sundom. I think to fully appreciate the story, you should play the first one. But you can go into this one. You might be a bit confused, but they do do a very good job of sum summarizing the story at the beginning of the game. Um, or you could just watch like a summarizing video of the first game. Because they are quite similar and it might be a lot if you play the first one straight into the second one. But the first one is a very good game. But there's no way... I wouldn't recommend playing this one and then playing the first one. Because you'll be like, wow, the first one is so much... There's a lot less freedoms in the first game, if that makes sense. No glider, no flying. The graphics aren't anywhere near as good. It's still, I mean, the graphics are still great, but they're just not. This game steps up a whole, a whole other level, basically. The Karja Messenger. What happened when the Karja Messenger appeared before Hikaru? A quivering priest bore a message from their new king. No more war. No more raids. Suddenly, the Karja wanted to talk peace. An embassy at the very fortress we tore down. A true Danak would never take a Karja truce. Their blood exists to be spilled. But a Karo lapped up the priest's message. He showed himself a Karja loving traitor when he accepted. That's when I challenged him. And lost. His mercy was just another sign of his weakness. It's not I vowed weakness. never to rest until the debt was repaid with him on his knees before me so with an army of soldiers and machines at my back i returned the day you got in my way oh <laughs> she's pissed <laughs> uh anyways um the deal with silence the deal you made override tech in exchange for an assault on the zenith base how did silence approach you that name means nothing to me my agreement was with Asaram mercenaries. Oh, yeah, true. So all this time, you didn't even know who you were really dealing with? And you trusted a group of outlanders? If it was a trick, I would have crushed them. But they offered me the chance to run the Karja down with machines. The terror in your enemy's eyes when they see you charge. You know what I'm talking about. I bet you felt it. I don't think so. What about your end of the deal? Would you have honored it? Had I killed Akaro and become chief, these Zeniths would have been the first of the tribe's victories. But because of you, my people will continue to consort with the enemy. 
A tribe of weaklings. <laughs> because of me, hundreds of Tanakh won't throw away their lives in a battle they can't win. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. Battling the Zeniths. Are you really going to fight alongside me? I have no reason to betray you. Really? I failed to kill Hakaro. Failed to eliminate you. No Tanakh would follow me now. The Karja remain out of my reach, cowering behind their walls. All I have left are the screams of those long dead and unending rage. So show me where to bury it. <laughs> Fair enough. She's like, I'm pissed. Show me where to take out my rage. All right. I guess we'll both face the end soon enough. Ever since you got in my way, I've wanted to see your bones burned white beneath the sun. But if I'm to die in battle, then it might as well be with the one who flew with the wings of the ten. I'll let you know when it's time to move out. I mean, as crazy as she is, I do really like her as a villain. Because she she has all the reasoning. I like that was super important to see. That's what I was looking for. I was like, where is she? I didn't want to start the end game without speaking with her first guessing what what are you doing okay well anyways let's go it's end game time i think i'm not doing any side missions now it's it's end game time let's freaking get it bro all right people i need you up in the control room right away Okay, everyone. What's up, UK Magic? We all know what's at Thank stake. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. Beta. Gaia. Not to mention life on Earth. Now, it might seem like the Zeniths are invincible, but they're not. We've got what it takes to break into their base and defeat them. We even have one of them on our side. Tilda, show us the base. It is constructed atop the ruins of an ancient military facility on an island to the southwest. I can get us inside. To this location. Undetected. How exactly? You'll know when you need to. Once inside, our goal will be this structure. The launch tower. Gaia and Beta are being held at the top. Of course they are. But along the way, we will face overwhelming resistance. Most importantly, from Gerard, Eric, and the others. But also... Once I take away their shields, we should be able to deal with them. But it will be easier to deploy the device if someone else is carrying it. I'll need a strong back. Carry stuff? Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> Even if your device works... There will still be Spectre drones, scores of them. Mm. If only we had an army to fight them. I've got that under control. You'll know when you need to. All right. We'll meet up again just before we go in. Where's the best place to rendezvous? On the coast, just across from the island. Once there, I'll show you the way. Okay. I'll let you know when I arrive at the rendezvous point. And then you can join me. In the meantime, do whatever you need to prepare. Understood? <laughs> His face. I hate silence when he's got such an attitude. You too? A minute? Oh? Tilda helped me get in touch with Beta, and she told me something important. 
Ooh. There's an installation inside the base. It's called a regulator. Um, Kat, I think you need to moisten. I will do that. Thank you, Anna. Here. Once we're inside, I need you two to split off from everyone else and destroy it. So you'll have to bring explosives. This will help stop the drones. Everything depends on it. Are you with me? After that, I want you to find a way to infiltrate the Zenith network. How? Go over all the data that Beta left behind. She knew how to do it, I'm sure of that. All right. But why? Uh, what am I trying to do? Find information about the Zeniths. Anything Tilda's not telling us. Sans is right about one thing. There's no way we can take her on her word. I'll do my best. Keep her safe, okay? On my life. One of those two are gonna die, thousand percent. The people that are closest to us always end up dying. Okay. Talk to your companion. Really? Again? <laughs> Oh god, more talking? No freaking way. Oh god, more talking. I thought we were done. Now we talk with everyone again. I promise. We're finally doing this. Never thought I'd be off on a mission to take down a bunch of immortals from the stars. I can hear the drinking songs already. Oh my god. If that one's not working right, you can have one of my spare focuses, you know. Yeah, little bugger's got some personality, that's all. Personality. Save my butt with those spectras. Wouldn't feel right to leave it behind now. Yeah, you know, besides, it uh it goes with my outfit. Wouldn't want to spoil your look. <laughs> Faro made the right call, you know. Bringing you here. True. Thanks. Yeah, Varl. You know, I never knew he had a sister. I found out a few days before you guys went to, to Gemini. I was, uh, well, to be honest, I was terrified I'd screw up the mission somehow. So he sat me down for a drink, just one, mind you. And we talked about family. Aww. Vala, Ursa, loss and revenge. And how you helped us. You know, we never did get that drink you promised back in the embrace. And you never told me exactly how your sister escaped the Mad Sun King. I guess we never got round to it. World ending and all. No time like the present, though. If you're up for it. Ah, We should have a drink. Should we have a drink? You think it's time for us to finally have that drink? Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, yeah, of course. You want to hear him ramble, lol? Do it. What, the drink then, oh. please. Oh my god, Aloy's so awkward. So, how did Ursa escape Mad Sun King Drawn's palace? <laughs> well, uh, first she had to survive the Sun Ring. See, during the war, the Karja threw a prisoner a day in there. And, you know, for what? To die as sacrifices, fighting machines in a pit. Thinking somehow that was gonna appease all the other deranged machines in the world? Ha! That's a massive And when it was Ursa's turn, the Karja thought she'd go down if they threw a big machine at her. Oh, but she didn't. And she defeated all of them. Even got some of Jaron's kestrels for good measure. And the mad Sun King was impressed, I guess. Thought it'd be funny to have her run around his palace as a servant. He enjoyed humiliating her that way. I remember you telling me something about that. That's how she met Avad. He helped her escape. Yeah, but, but what no Karja scroll will ever tell you is how the young prince snuck Ursa out of the palace. He knew their best chance was to get Ursa to blend in, so... 
He got her everything she needed to disguise herself as a Karja noblewoman. And yeah, perfumes, veils, and all. I get the feeling she wasn't too happy with that. <laughs> oh man, Ursa would have rather fought her way out of that palace with her bare hands than put on all of that Karja eye paint. But Avad insisted it was the only way, so she agreed under one condition. Avad had to dress up as well. She made Avad dress up like a noblewoman? As perfumed and powdered as a babe. Ursa said he looked better like that than he ever did in a crown. <laughs> that would uh, definitely make for an interesting sight. Oh, I worked like a charm too. Not only did they make it out of the palace, they paid a traveling merchant to get Ursa to the border and none were the wiser. Fair enough. That's all like first game stuff. So I think Ursa was his sister and Avad was, was the son you king. You were right. That was a story best told over a drink. All good stories are. Let's play strike now. I guess I should get going. I'll see you at the rendezvous point. With my hammer ready. I wouldn't have it any other way. That was cute. It's nice to share a moment. I can speak to literally everyone. I love Zoe. I Hi, hope everybody's ready for this. Fighting the Zeniths isn't going to be easy. Aloy, nothing you do ever is. At least now you don't have to do it alone. Thanks. Everyone here, training, working together. If it weren't for Varl, none of it would have happened. Very true. You know, there was this one night, right before Varl left with you to go to Gemini. He realized I was having trouble sleeping. I was nervous about the mission. To be honest, I think we both were. So, he asked me to join him in Gaia's dome. He brought up this hologram of Earth that you two found back in the Zenith launch facility. We sat there, just looking at it. I thought about how Plainsong was just a speck on that great sphere. Mm -hmm. How every corner of it must be teeming with life. And any fears I had about our mission were gone. I miss him terribly. I know. Aww. Val, best boy. You and Aaron seem to be on better terms now. He may have terrible taste in music, <laughs> but he did apologize for mocking my tribe. And that ale he keeps raving about isn't half bad. <laughs> I still plan on beating that stubborn face of his to break our sparring stalemate. Try not to hurt him too bad. <laughs> Wrecks him up so he can't even fight. I go. I'll let you know when I'm ready to head to the base. Before you do, there is one favor I would ask of you. What is it? You placed this focus in my care and gave me the highest calling an Utaru has ever known. If I should fall in battle, I'd like you to be the one to bury my seed pouch. For the both of us. So? Make sure you stay alive to do so. Let's just try to all come back home. Okay? I don't like that foreshadowing. Please don't let Zoe die, please. You nervous? I'd be lying if I said I'm not slightly apprehensive. I saw The plan will work if we all focus on our assignments. Right. Salty, you're going to be devastated. You missed a pretty important part that happened. Um, Val is dead. Val got deaded by one of the Zeniths. Um, Carrot, I think you need to moisten. I want you to know I'm glad you're with us, Alva. Whatever happens, I'm grateful that the legacy brought us together. I never thought I'd get to actually meet an ancestor. Come on, do I look that old? 
Val, who was kind of going to be our lover, yeah. Even though he never was. Or like, we... Yeah. Val. Zoe's lover, technically. He he died. Katala will protect you inside the Zenith base. I'm not afraid. I know Katala will fulfill his duty, as will I. If we die doing so, at least it'll be alongside a friend. I'd rather you both stay alive, if you don't mind. We'll try and keep that in mind. Once all this is over, will you go back across the ocean? I don't know. The more I think about it, the more worried I become. Really? If I go back, I don't even know if they'd let me keep this focus you gave me. Or what they'd do to me for reading what is clearly forbidden data. Mm. Even if I somehow were allowed to carry on my duties as a diviner, would I be willing to let the truths I've learned about the ancestors be buried away by the Board of Overseers? Would I dare challenge them and risk my family's safety? Or losing Fadera? Who's this Fadera you mentioned? She is another diviner. One of our best. And your girlfriend, we right? used to be rivals at the academy. <laughs> I hated her guts. But apparently there is a fine line between hate and love. Cute. We became very close. And then I was assigned to the expedition. She promised she'd wait for me. No matter how long it took. Well, that was smart of her. She won't do any better. Yeah, I don't know about that. I do. You love to see it. The gay love. It's freaking amazing. The rest of us should be enough Alva's of a distraction to the Zenith for you better. to hack into their network undetected. But you'll have to be quick in case they do. Uh, what exactly do you expect me to find, Aloy? I don't know. The truth, if we're lucky. Yeah, that is a fine line between hate and love. Going. I'll be at the rendezvous point. May truth lead us to victory. Alva instantly best best girl. <laughs> no, there was a couple of gay relationships in this game so far, which is awesome. Katalo, my boy. So, how are we feeling about the mission? Hey, Sparky. I do not know everything that you have planned, but it doesn't matter. All that remains is to follow you to the end, whatever that will be. Thank you, Katalo. I'm glad all this brought us together. You brought us together, and I am grateful too. Oh. Oh, and by the way, I was hoping now would be a good time to go back to the Tremor Tusk site and test my new arm before we leave on our mission. Right. I'll let you know when I can make my way there. Thank you. Oh, fake. Wait, but I already did that with you, didn't I? We didn't really get to talk about what happened. He's ripped. He is ripped. And I. There was nothing more to say. If he were to knock, Varl's bravery would have earned him sacred burial at the Grove, among the most distinguished of our tribe's warriors. His deeds were worthy of the Ten. When the fight is done, I will have the Inkers etch his memory on my skin. Aww. So that it may live on. Aww. I'm sure he'd be honored. Aww. He said I will get a tattoo of Val. Now that training time is over, what's on your mind? The bulwark, the Kulrit, and how we need another miracle if we're to survive the Zenith base. I'll try not to let you down. I know you will not. Okay. I'll see you soon then. It will be my honor. We've done that mission. There's no way we're doing that mission, right? Yeah, okay, we've done it. I think that was a weird, like dialogue thing because we already tested his arm Aloy shall we chat some more I love Would you Tilda. like to continue our chat yes oh apparently I don't there's literally nothing new to speak but anyways I should be going I'll be making final preparations hey uh you two you two are terrible you two are going to hell 
His arms ripped, ripped off. <laughs> Hi, creepy lady. We slid down two flights of stairs. I love it here. What now? <laughs> I love the gala. Okay, nothing about it. going. Yes, enough talking. <laughs> Great, great conversation. Okay. You're not my con companion, apparently. Have we spoken with all our companions? I'm missing someone, aren't I? No, that's it. I think. Zoval, Alva. I said Val. Yikes. I'm definitely not getting any of this. I think that's it. Oh, no, there's one more here. Who's here? Oh, silence. Blech. So, you return. Something else? Nope, apparently not. I'll be going. As you would. Okay, cool. Rendezvous points. Let's go. What's up, spirit? How are you? This is the end. This is literally the final mission. The action begins here, I think. Probably, hopefully. Oh my god, look at how far the rendezvous point is. It's all the way here. Okay, well, there's a campfire there, so we just need a campfire. Cut his foot. Whoa! Damn, being with that other guy's. What? Jesus. Um, yeah, this was a long I see you, champion. game. Sit, please. Fine, what rumors do you have? It's just an errand, right? You should know that rebel holdouts are still a problem. Okay. They've set up outposts to the west. And I know the marshals can't deal with all of them, so I'd stay alert out there if I were you. Thanks for the warning. Okay, cool. Let's Getting rid of go. those outposts might stop the rebel holdouts from killing more of their own. Maybe I can lend the marshals a hand. Yeah, maybe another day. Not right now. Okay, we're going all the way down here. Boom, boom, shakalaka. Are you updating TFT? Have you played the new set in TFT yet or no? Nah? Here we go. It is time. This is if you this is it. Oh, yes. Let's go. Call your companions. No way back. <sighs> oh, that's fine. I've got everything. Okay, everyone. I'm at the rendezvous point. It's time to rescue Beta and Gaia. Understood, Aloy. We're on our way. This is it. This is it. This is this is freaking it. This is it. This is it. This is it. This is freaking it. Aloy. Where are the others? Not far behind. Egghead here couldn't stand traveling with the pack. <laughs> And she just flew, because why not? Are we all here? Then let's begin. This is end game. Actual end game territory. Oh, secret. A tunnel. An ancient escape route from the ruins on the island. When I realized it ran all the way across the water, I... I thought it might prove useful to come and go undetected. So I concealed it from the others. Nice. Shall we? Ooh, and I wish there was a less pungent way to get way inside the base. Agreed. She does. She sounds like. What's the name of the actress from The Matrix? I've forgotten. I know her name was. Oh, that looks cool. Trinity. There's the launch tower. But I forgot what that her. That plane offers a little cover, so the only viable path is through there. The actress's name was. There will be specters Carrie guarding Ambrose. it, and many more can be deployed from those hangars. 
All right. Alva, Catalo, get to it. Where are they going? Somewhere important. Aaron, you're with me. You guys, take the high ground in case we need cover and fire. Tactically sound, I suppose. What will she do? There's a sensor node nearby. If I hack into it, I should be able to scramble the network and keep you undetected. But not for long. Then we should proceed. One more thing. Open up the channel to beta. Audio only. Hey, boy. We're here, and we're coming for you. You know what to do, right? As long as you hold up your end. We will. See you soon. Hey, disconnected. <laughs> Let's go. <clears throat> Get to the launch tower as quickly as possible. I'll do my best to conceal our intrusion. Dude, this looks real. I hate it. I, I mean, I love it. Company, follow my lead. That's what I do. A long fight if I stick to shock ammo. There's weapons up there, which could be useful. There are a couple of them. Yolo. You saw nothing. You need it. This will help. Don't do anything. Don't attack. Anytime you're ready. Oh, uh, Yolo. Let's do it. Take this and take him down. It's fallen. Smash. Nice. That's it. Keep at it. Huh? No! Boy, you oh. Ooh. Give me the oh. weapon. Where's the weapon? I saw a weapon over here. Here it is. No, give me this. Oof. Okay, we're fine. Where's the other one gone? Are you dead yet? Ouch. You aren't winning this battle, Bob. I can keep this going. Oh. Hey, you need this. Okay. I I need whatever he's throwing me. Exactly. Oh my god, could you not? That would be great. Ow, you bitch. Nice. I think you're right. I'm surprised I didn't set off any Find alarms anything? or anything like yeah. that. The sound bit to say hello to my little friend. Oh, say hello to my little friend. Um, I think there's a cave up there that might get. Give me a second because I'm pretty sure I've got like really good stuff that I can wear. Okay, no, that's fine. That was definitely. Ah, it was this one, this sky climber one. Ah, this! Look at that! The Sky Killer! Whew. That looks great! Is this a spike? It is a spike, yes. And let's edit the coils and put some cool coils on there. Uh, 
and what else draw speed yeah sure why not cool um that weapon looks awesome there was some other stuff am i going crazy no maybe not okay that might be it it's through that ridge let's climb up to it that effect is so cool anyways there was something purple here did i destroy it what happened oh it got chucked all the way up here i oh, know this is so, I, I i don't even know but i want all the purple stuff because purple good what's in this backpack metal bricks aloy alva and i are closing in on the regulator can you post it it's creepy in here don't worry i'll protect you <laughs> yeah, I wish I had a glider. Yeah, I mean. I I'll find another way. Yeah, how is he gonna find his way across? There's a lot of dead machines on this island. We killed a great many when we landed here. Their salvage may prove useful to you now. Another specter. Sneak or fight, you choose. Better what are you weak to? Are you weak to this? Awesome. Can I sneak attack it? I guess if I got close enough to it. YOLO. Aloy's under attack! Cover her! Get into this! Firing! It's oh. I shouldn't have used it. I keep using my health way too early. What is that? Whoa, chill out, bro. Oh, it looks like Zoe's giving us some supporting fire. Nice. I'm a oh. Ouch. I am carrying them, aren't I? Nice. What the heck was that? That wasn't me. Hey, Aloy. No helping this out. Firing from above. There we go. That was a decent shot, I guess. Better than any Osiram. Cool. More purple, hell yeah. Is that a viper? I know it's a wing. It's a storm bird. Oh, there was a weapon there I could have used. Would have been nice to know. Tired yet? Yep. Yes, all the purple things. Yeah! Clear those weeds. We're through. Grab it if you need it. The inspectors are good sports. We can take this one, Aloy. Keep moving. The inspectors are good sports. I love her. That stormbird carcass should get us over the gap. I hate stormbirds. But I guess uh yeah, dead ones handy enough. <laughs> sure. Hey, you remember the good old days when our only worry was whether Meridian would be destroyed? You know, instead of a whole world <laughs> oh yeah true good times there's surely gonna be more enemies that pop up here uh, more yep specters. there we go i'll attack when you sneak attack pog ah. sure. that did a bit of damage can't beat Azeram forge i'll have to here then and they went boom. Nice. That's a quick way to take it down. What else do we have? We have ultra shot, spread blast. It's got to be ultra shot. Ultra shot is great. Oh. Ah. Hey, boy, for you. 
There's a weapon up there, I think. Yeah. Oh, right. You can just take it. Oh my god. What would I rate this game? Easy 9, maybe even... Mm, I wouldn't go as far as a 10. Only because... I don't know, it's, it's a very awkward reason. I think that's all of them. But honestly, it, it could be a 10. It's, it's a very, very good game. I love it. Any good loot? A little. Yeah, give me all this. I'll be playing this offline for sure. Because I want to... Realistically, I would love to platinum this game. That would take a very long time though. It's just... It's very good. At least a 9 out of 10. 9.5. Here. Of this rock. Do I do 0.5s? I think I do 0.5s. Is this man climbing with that on his back as well? Like, how? He is? Wow, what a legend. We're gonna have to climb around this corner. Well, I'll try not to complain. I can see the way forward. Keep moving. Yeah, it's, it's incredible. It's like, the... Can. It's so easy right? to forget how incredible sort of. it is as well. Like the detail on these rocks and stuff is just like incredible. The graphics are so nice. The combat is very fun. Looks like the others have things under control. Is that Hikaru? Yeah, Zoe. Silence, Regala. Oh God, hi friend. You gonna join us? What the frick is that weapon? More than we want to fight at once, that's for sure. Ooh, that's right. You're a bitch, the Apex. <laughs> You're actually a bitch. I mean, he got a new arm. Why? Why no. are we? Why are we slide. making fun of people? Like people that have, like what, 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 what? Why is this a thing? Hey, can, we, can we not I'll do that? That'd be great. Do it. Blow the regulator. A moment while I ignite the charges. You guys are messed up, man. What the fuck? <laughs> Alva and Catalo did their job. Now it's Beta's turn. Uh, Aloy? I think we're in trouble. Holy shit. Whatever you plan to do to stop those specters, you better do it now. I'm not doing anything. Beta will. She just needs a little time. Time that we don't have. Come on, Beta. Come on, come on, come on. What is that? Oh, what the frick? The machines. What? What is happening here? Our army. She's spawning in machines or teleporting them there? I think you got their attention. Okay, this is freaking awesome. Very clever. You had Beta inject Hephaestus into the base's printer matrix. Which is faster and more powerful than any cauldron. And now it can crank out machines to its heart's content. Yo, okay. Old school machines versus new school. Old school winning 
easily. Come on. Let's get to the launch tower before this whole place becomes a war zone. I think it's a bit late for that, my girl. Your maneuver, as clever as it is, means that Hephaestus has escaped to containment. It will no doubt flip back to the cauldron network. We grabbed it once, we'll get it again. We'll find a way to replicate its functionality, perhaps. With the Apollo database. Can't you climb? Okay, I guess she can't climb that. Now you can. Aloy. Hey, In case we don't make it, I just have one regret. What is it? That we had to do all this climbing. <laughs> uh, big rock might give us a bridge to get up and through. Gotcha. I guess not all the specters are fighting our machines. Nah, no, because that would have made it nice and easy. Acid ammo could help here. Let's nice. Not here. Nice. Kaboom. I like that projectile version of it. That's really cool. Baldi are fighting another Spectre up there. I think they can handle it. Take it like a man. Or a woman. Sorry, Aloy. <laughs> Man, or woman, sorry, Aloy. Nice. It's so good. What the hell? This weapon is so actually so good. Nice. There's one up there as well. Too high for me to play. Anyways. By the specters, they both fell down. What do you get? Just some parts. All the parts I need. Okay, cool. There's more here. Yes, please. Okay, where are we going? Where are we going? D -d 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 Treasure Island. This way. Big jump. You can make it. Come on, dudes. Oh yeah. To the right, I think. Oh, sure. This came out of nowhere. And now to the left. No, I'm not going the way you tell me to. Okay, maybe I am. Let's go. You can get to the launch tower through the hangar up ahead. I'm heading over to join you now. The hangar's in bad shape, but I can see the way in. Hurry, Aloy. Another one? By the blood of the ten! Don't kill yourself, girl. Bottoms up. Damn, she is going straight for it. Aloy! Aloy. Huh? Oh, Nice. I'm coming for you next. Good work, everyone. Yeah. Let's go. So. Hey, Regala. Silence. Where's Zoe? Give me this weapon. This is so cool. This way. Where's Zoe? Oh, there she is. She's up there. I want to bring this weapon with me, dude. I know there's going to be more. That mind me, I'm just uh, carrying a massive this weapon. This is the way up. You know you could help me, Owen. I know you got a big thing on your back, but come on, bro. Oh, wow, look at Whoa. that thing. Look at all this zenith space stuff. Yeah, this is insanity. What the fuck? The golden dust and stuff. That's like crazy. Well, looks like I have to drop it here anyways after all that. Here we go. Whoa. Come on. 
Let's go. <gasps> oh, watch out. This way, demon. Ah! Don't die. Not like this. Oh, shit. You got this regard. Oh, no. This is the death I was promised. Go. Rip. Well, she did get a best of death. I mean, she didn't want to die. May Regala return peacefully to the cycle. Please. She cared nothing for peace. At least she died on her own terms. Oh, look at this. This is so cool. Aloy, it's been intense, but Catalo got me to a network node. I'm trying to get in. Keep at it. We're almost to the look tower. At, this is so weird, man. I love this. It's so cool, but weird at the same time. Yeah, of course, this is going to be like super valuable stuff. Look at this. That's so cool. The gold and the white and the blue. Like, it looks so cool. Whoa. Oh, bro, this is so awesome. I love when the game goes over the top science fiction like this. Zenith. Oh, ah, now we know who's been causing all the fuss. Tilda's little pet. Use your weapon right now, Silence. Silence. Zenith inbound. Can we drop their shields, please? I'm powering it up. Stay still. This is pointless. You can't hurt us. Face it. You're worms that ooze to the cracks into our basement. Silence. One moment more. But I might just spare you if you give up Tilda. I think it's safe to say she's forfeited her share of our operation. Permanently. Ah, uh, there. No. Nothing. Fine. All right, people. Light him up. Oh crap! <clears throat> EMP. Are we supposed to be scared? Yes. Nice. No more shields for you, you little pussies. Dench. They can still fly, man. Oh. We can't let Gerard escape. It won't take long before he preps the shuttle for launch. Then he'll be able to take Beta and Gaia into orbit and onto the Odyssey beyond our reach. We gotta go through there? I fail to see another option. We gotta we'll run. carve a path. Ready? Avengers! <laughs> Roll out! I'm freaking <laughs> loving this. This is so cool. <laughs> F him up. Get to the top and secure Gaia. I'll stop Gerard. I don't know why Tilda sounds so calm, though. Come on. 
I gotta get to the top of the tower and free Beta. Aloy, we're... Sorry, gotta gotta loot the chest real quick. Oh, more stuff. Sorry, gotta gotta loot. <laughs> okay, an elevator. Promising. Oh crap! Watch out. Oh, this is boss fight for sure. Elevator. Some unfinished business, little girl. Yeah. Screw you. I'm gonna wreck you up now. You ain't got a shield to protect you. Kick him. Come on, Aloy. F him up. I don't need a shield to take you out. Uh huh. Whatever Trust you say. Me. You're gonna wish you had one. You're out class. <laughs> oh, geez. Okay. I hurt myself more. <laughs> Good job. Hit me then. What is this? And also, what is this music? Oh, oh thank you. Hit me with that. Are you there? I'm on my way to help. Just need to find my way in there. I'm taking you down. Oh my god, that freaking plasma hit me as well. Yeah, F him up, F him up, Aloy. This spike is so good. Yeah, get food, you little bitch. <laughs> I almost forgot what it was like to hurt. <laughs> yeah, after you, though. Now we're having fun, right? That's exactly what he said to Val when he murdered him. I'm glad Zo got got that pleasure. You okay? I will be. In time. Go. Rescue your sister. I'll regroup with the others and make sure they're all right. Oh. Okay. Elevator. Let's go. That just made me a little emotional, man. I'm so happy Zoe got her. Her revenge. Up we go. Ew. That looks like, looks like the machines spine. and specters have almost wiped each other out. What was that? Aloy, Gerard just activated the self-destruct failsafe on the printing matrix. Oh. He's taking control of a number of systems. Including the lift? I'm afraid so. Yep. He's restricted its access to the top. You'll have to climb from there. Okay. I have to go. I almost have him. Oh my god, climb, Aloy. <laughs> Stop going back and forth. Go, 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 go. Oh, Aaron? that's not what Is I wanted. Right down there? It's fine. Uh, mostly. We're cleaning up the last few specters. What about the Zeniths? Dead, I think. Izo told me you got Eric. Good work. Yeah. We did indeed. Thanks. Zo got Eric. And Gerard are left then. Aloy, you there? Listen, I got into the network, but only for a minute before I was shut out. I found a bunch of flight plans and trajectories, as if the Zeniths were planning to leave Earth. Doesn't make any sense. I know, but there's more. The files I found have a lot of references to something called Nemesis. Whatever it is, the Zeniths are afraid of it. Alva? Alva! What's going on? Maybe Beta can help me figure it out. Tilda! She's okay. Is Tilda gonna be lying to us the whole time? 
Maybe she is. Oh my god, she would make the perfect villain, wouldn't she? For all my life, they shut me out. Liz, blah, blah, blah. Oh my god, maybe she wants to overthrow everyone. That's probably what it... Oh my god. He was nothing. For real, he was. He was nothing. To be fair, I've got the game on like normal difficulty. If it was on hard, it would have been more difficult. Spacer, oh my god. Are you okay? Look, I know you've been through a lot, but you have to help me access the Zenith network. I need to see their files, anything referring to the word Nemesis. Okay. O over there. Wow, this looks so pretty, my god. The systems are down all over the base. I should be able to take advantage of... Yes, Nemesis. Here. There's something in deep space. It's following the Zenith to Earth. Yikes, aliens. Look, escape vectors. Alva tried to warn me about this. The Zeniths aren't planning to stay here. It's a machine of some kind. O or a swarm of them. The energy readings are... astronomical. Aloy, I don't think a natural disaster destroyed the Zenith colony on Sirius. This thing did. Oh, crap. Earth isn't a new home for them. It's a way station. They're on the run. Oh, and here comes Tilda. Right on cue. I see you've been busy. And you've been lying. Nemesis, what is it? It is us. The minds of Far Zenith. Or failed copies of them, anyway. Back on Sirius, some of my peers weren't satisfied with physical immortality. They wanted digital transcendence. A way to upload their minds into any form, organic or mechanical. Nemesis was a failed experiment to that effect. Abandoned, but never erased. An immense database of our memories, emotions, and prejudices left to fester. And it destroyed your colony? We didn't realize it had gained sentience until it broke containment. It had everything it needed from our memories. What the hell? Security protocols, system specs, override codes. It hacked everything before we knew what hit us. Then it took over our printing facilities, allowing it to gain any machine form it needed to wipe us out. But why? Imagine being trapped alone for decades with only the twisted echoes of megalomaniacs for company. It hates us for abandoning it to that prison. And now that it's free, it will do anything to destroy us, including denying us a safe harbor on Earth. The extinction signal that woke Hades. You didn't send it. Nemesis did. Finally, you understand. And when that failed, it launched from Sirius to finish the job itself. Which is why we must flee to a random planet circling a random star somewhere it can never find us. With Gaia, so you can build yourself a new world. That's the plan. Even now. Earth is finished, Aloy. Nemesis will scour it of life to deny its creators a viable home. But Elizabeth's dream won't die. You'll come with me to the stars. 
Not again. And with Gaia, we'll create a new world. Together. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Where that monstrosity could never find us. What? No. I loved Elizabeth. More than you could ever know. And I let her stay behind to die with the rest of humanity. A mistake I have regretted for a thousand years. Now she stands before me again. Not some inferior copy. Damn. But her best possible self. Damn. So I'm not asking. You're coming. Wow. Oh my God. It may seem harsh now, but you'll forgive me in a few centuries. A few centuries. You can't force me, Tilda. Your shield is gone. I have something better. Spectre Prime, to me. Take cover! Get to the door! Submit, Aloy. You can't win. No! Oh, wow. I really wanted to believe she was good. I really wanted to believe you were good. This Spectre was designed to survive against more than that. I better scan that thing first. What are you weak to? I gotta get through all that armor before I can do some damage. You're weak to plasma, of course. But now they're not. This is such Activate. a good battleground. Oh. F him up. Oh, that was close. I'm gonna die. I have you. She's she's so loud. She was playing long. Oh, exactly. Ouch. I don't have enough strength to What else do I need? I can endure. You cannot. Yeah, nice. Right. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Oof. Nice. Nice. Are vulnerable to elemental ammo. Come on, keep it going, keep it going. There it goes. Explosive, please. Yes, nice. I'll shut you down. Enough is enough. Armor's off. Oh, that thing's fast. He's still have some weak points, though. What the frick is that? Oh, okay, that was one you hell of a move. You cannot win! Bro, I thought you, everyone had a bad feeling about her, and I thought I was like, I was like, nah, they, surely they'll be wrong. Surely. Whatever you say, bro. This is enough. Nice. Um, Those gold plates are vulnerable. Hold on, that's a like too. This won't work, Tilda. I knew you didn't truly want to hurt me. Nice, we hit it. Nice. What else do we need? Let's go with this again, because this is a really good weapon. Ah! 
Oh, okay. Jeez. Transformers style. No! Could you not set me on fire? That'd be amazing. Nice. Rest first till I get my stamp. Dead. Tilda, okay. I feel bad because Tilda legitimately helped us still, you know. It's over. Why couldn't you just let me choose? Exactly. Well, she's not dead. I don't think she's dead. She is. Oh, shit. That sucks. Oh, great. Now we have silence. She tried to take you. Yeah. And she told you about Nemesis. So you've known all along. He knew about Nemesis? From Hades, yes. Along with data on how to circumvent the Zenith shields. Everything I did to create the rebel army was based on that knowledge. To reach this place, this moment. And you couldn't just tell me? Come now, Eloy. You're the last person to act sensibly in the face of impossible odds. When I learned of Nemesis from Hades, I saw the pieces on the board and how to play them. And in that same moment, I knew it was a game you would never play. That you would interfere and attempt to save the Tanakht. I was correct, to a point. Mm. You ruined my plans, but brought your own to fruition. The end result is the same. We're here. And now it's time for me to leave this doomed planet behind. Really? To seize the Odyssey and the Apollo database and begin a new chapter in my pursuit of knowledge, one mm. with infinite possibilities. No. You can join me if you so desire. You've more than earned your place. What? Unlike Tilda, I'm extending a polite invitation. You're going to just take off and abandon everything? Stay. Help me fight that thing. Perhaps Tilda didn't adequately define the threat. Nemesis can't be stopped. It destroyed a highly advanced Zenith colony in a matter of hours. What hope does this primitive tribal Earth have? If you brought Gaia, you wouldn't be abandoning life. You'd be saving a seed for a new world. Just as Elizabeth did. I can see his point, it's but... It's the choice she made. Nah. The sacrifice of all that is for the hope of what might be. If she were here in your place, she would board that shuttle, Eloy. Found her. Is she hurt? Still on her feet. Thank the ten. Goodbye, Silence. Damn. So he's really... What the hell's gonna happen? She looks okay. She looks victorious. As always. Eloy. You did it. Aw, they're like twin sisters. gonna go get some milk and never come back <laughs> sure that's one way to look at it no he's gonna go go plant hey, his seed going? somewhere else as far away as anyone can go oh are you sure what you changed your mind you're staying for a time you people are going to need all of the help you can get. Uh, does anyone else need a drink? Not if it's that ale of yours. Uh, uh, I'd be fine with a nap. No one died. Excellent idea. Except Val. 
Uh, I hope it's really over this time. Uh, sorry, dude. I got some bad news. You know, that ominous flashing of red behind you. Yeah, they There's another left. battle ahead, Elizabeth. Yep. Very different than the one you fought. How are they gonna make a game out of this? Like it's Nemesis not about sounds... the distant hope of creating a new world. Nemesis sounds impossible to defeat. <gasps> Gaia! It's about preserving the one we have. Uh -huh. My friends have a new mission. To spread the word and ask for help. They've taken it in stride. I think it's because they've always known what I've only just started to understand. The people of this world have the strength to fight any battle. Who is that? Who died? The ingenuity to solve any problem. <laughs> Virtual fireworks. Love that. to overcome any obstacle and the resilience to rise after any setback as for me I can't say I'm not afraid the lies ahead will be harder than anything we've faced before I'm glad silence came around. This is the first time in my life. I feel like I'm not alone. <laughs> Gaia! Oh my god, she can restore everything now. I saw someone get oh wait are we flying I saw someone get this end screen recently oh this is the most beautiful credits they could have done we're gonna fly all the way from where we started from one side of the map to the other that's freaking amazing can I fly can I oh no pause skip no it's it's it looks like you're meant to be flying here that was so cool I yeah that was really really cool yeah it's the end we finally beat it how many hours I want to say like 50 something hours later we played this game for a very long time but I loved this game this was so good this is where we started finally calm, calm your tits to be fair we could have <laughs> 50 hours like ghostwire tokyo apparently is like 12 so we could have played about four games in this time it was amazing i like it's visually so gorgeous the combat was so fun let your tits go wild them your party tits wait what why are we talking about birds quest design honestly quest design team that was amazing like even the side quests were so good every quest have like a pretty great oh i said calm your tits oh right yeah yeah <laughs> um well i'll try Bro, I've got so many other things to make videos for. This will be the last on my list because I'll keep it on. 
I'll keep it on Twitch. I'll make a collection of it. Once I... I want to basically get my smaller playthroughs out onto YouTube. First. So that... Oh, this is so cool. I want to get my smaller playthroughs out first. So that I can get rid of the... Delete the collections on Twitch and then make new collections. Like for the bigger things like Persona, I'm definitely leaving that. It is, it is so gorgeous, I'm telling you. It's one of the prettiest games I've ever played. The sound design was great. This was the gate. This was when we'd done the initial part. Something at the end? Uh, I've kind of seen the end. I don't know if there will be like a post credit scene or anything like that. This is such a cool way to do credits. Just flying through the whole world. I love this. We had like this. This wasn't even proper desert. This area felt quite deserty, but it wasn't. It was like proper, proper desert later on. I'll try to... Let me see. How easy is this game to platinum? How easy is... Horizon... Forbidden West... To platinum? If I have to replay the whole game on, like, the hardest difficulty, I ain't doing it. Oh, What? Apparently, it's not that difficult. Yeah, it was gorgeous. Like, the underwater sections were so pretty as well. It's honestly such a gorgeous game, as you can see. We still have a lot of the world to go through, though. The music was really good the story was really good didn't see a lot as in like you didn't see a lot of the game i mean fair enough infrastructure code god i can imagine coding something like this Online? Online infrastructure code? There was online in this game? Um, let's do a quick review. If I was to score this game, I would give it a... I think whole numbers only, I would give it a 9 out of 10. Easily. What? I'm trying to think why this game doesn't deserve a 10 out of 10. That's what I'm trying to think of. I mean, Sparky, you didn't play it and you weren't here for the whole thing, so... Um... But Fez, 9, 8.5. Like, oh, there's Vegas. Vegas was so cool. I think, 
I think the difficulty for me, not the difficulty, the thing that sort of lets this game down is too much dialogue, which is so strange. You, that shouldn't be an issue. But I think because you sort of stand and you're not really doing much, the way Red Dead circumvents this issue, for example, is you walk and you talk. Um, and I guess another minor thing that even Donkey brought up was the fact that you have to stop to pick pick things up, which is really silly, but like it, it's just minor things. Yeah, like you have to really be following the story to fully get the dialogue. dialogue. The dialogue is very good though. Um, I think that would be... That's the issue. I don't like when games stop and force you to talk and select options without moving and stuff like that to me gets gets boring quite quickly, especially in this game when there's so much of that. Um, which is so weird, like it's such a weird complaint, but that would be my complaint, I guess. And the game is very like very go go here do this do that even though i had the game in the sort of open open option if you compared it to like breath of the wild there's a lot more discovery and there's a lot more um puzzles and stuff like that there were some puzzles in this game to be fair i still haven't played every single part of this there's still some cauldrons i need to do there's still some of the old because the old relic places are essentially those puzzle areas Ooh. the the graphics freaking 10 out of 10 there's literally nothing i can fault with the graphics except maybe some popping but honestly like the popping of textures and stuff that's such a minor thing like this game is just so gorgeous and they did such a good job with it overall it still looks so realistic like this is just you sort of expect this to be real the way the lighting is just so on point and oh so good man um what else do we have the music was fantastic audio generally pretty freaking fantastic it's just extremely immersive the environments were incredible there was a love a lot to love Oh, well, you would love this game, Yana. This is a cinematic though, right? This is literally all in game. This is how the game, this is, I'm not playing right now, but this is running in engine. This is how the game looks. Like the game looks this good and you can fly this. I flew it earlier. You can summon this as a mount. I could do this if I wanted to it's it's incredible like the game genuinely looks this good is that stormbird gonna attack us imagine like the game genuinely looked this good throughout and it, it was stunning there were moments where i was just like gawking at how gorgeous it looks so like here on the left, you see that the base, it's not like fully formed. I'm literally blocking it. That's a base where the final attack happened. Yeah, like the environmental variety, they had underwater, they had snow, desert, um, forest. They literally have every type of environment you could think of. And then they had super sci-fi towards the end. Like, that was so gorgeous, man. I guess the game was also left on a cliffhanger. Which is good. That means there's going to be a, a 
third one i don't know how like that's gonna be a pain in the ass for them to do but hey blue planets vibes yeah and the towns like were really cool the cities and everything very very cool human resources talent acquisition cool cool this just goes to show you how many people I oh, know no it, it will be a third game it, it will definitely be a third game um yeah the visual effects were really really good in this game like look at that fog so good Oh yeah, and you had the fight. The fights were really good. The combat. Oh, mate. There's so much to love in this game. Nice. That was a cool battle. Battle well. <laughs> For real, yeah, yeah, yeah. The PS5 is like, it's doing the works for real, man. It's really doing the works. Oh, here we go. We're about to get to San Francisco. This world was humongous as well, can I say? It's so big. Such a fantastic open world. Like, look at that. The skyline going to San Francisco was incredible. Kojima Productions as well. I guess Kojima must have... Well, they must have helped somehow. Gorilla Babies. Look at how many babies there, there were. Wow. Oh my god, so many. Look at the amount of babies that were had whilst this game was made. Any new games in love and memory of Patrick Munich? Rest in peace, Patrick. Only new games I remember is Lego Star Wars and Hogwarts Legacy. Forgot everyone, all the others. Thank you for playing. GG! Yeah, I saw this screenshot. That was so cool, man. We didn't even get all the way to San Francisco. They were all busy. Oh, please. You're funny. Not sure this year. There's loads coming out this year. The new God of War is coming out this year. Later on. What other games? My hands are full of flowers. My ears are full of songs. My heart is sad and numb. I'd rather um. just be Switch Sports, Evil Dead, the game, Mario Strikers, Redfall, Two Point Campus, Saints Row, I oh, Forspoken, Gotham Knights, Forspoken is the one where you're like, yeah, magic and stuff. The credits aren't done. There could be something after this, but even if there isn't, I'm it's like fine. Starfield sounds like it's gonna be great. Stalker 2, Sonic, apparently, Frontiers, a new Sonic. Pokemon, new Pokemon, Scarlet and Violet. Set in Spain, which looks really cool. Ghostbusters, apparently? Nightingale, Marvel's Midnight Suns. God of War, Ragnarok. Stray Oxen Free. How is Stray still? I mean, it must be a good game, I guess. Who knows? Park Beyond, Open Roads, Lord of the Rings, Gollum, Slime Rancher 2, Plague Tale, Requiem, Mario Rabbids, Sparks of Hope, The Callisto Protocol. I don't even know what that is. Ark 2. 
Avatar. Yeah, there's loads. Yeah, Spider-Man 2 is 2023. Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League, also 2023. So is Breath of the Wild 2, apparently. I forgot Wonder Woman game and Wolverine and Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. There's loads of games that have been announced. Fable 4, Dragon Age 4. We'll find out more in June, probably. Avatar, that will be next year, I think. Skull and Bones apparently is still in development. Skull and Bones looks pretty freaking great, I'm not gonna lie. Ubisoft Star Wars game, Contraband, Bayonetta 3, Project 007, Senua's Sage Blade Saga, Hellblade 2. Little child inside is jealous of your strength. I was gonna say E3. E3 isn't happening, but there is still the Summer Games Fest, so we'll probably hear more in June. And what else is there? Yeah, June is Game News Month. So even even though E3 isn't happening, I'm sure Nintendo and other companies will have some conferences around then. Looks good. What, Avatar? This woman has an amazing voice. Or this person. I don't know their gender. I assume woman. How close? How close are we to the end of the credits? I could skip it, but I feel like it's a little disrespectful to skip credits personally. Obviously, we're going to find someone to raid after this. No, they're not. It, like, E3 is fully cancelled this year, I think. I think because they couldn't have it in person, they just decided to cancel it, which is really strange, to be honest. Like, they still fully could have done it. <gasps> Cash is streaming. We can raid him. <laughs> What's he playing? Should still do E3. Probably money. I... Don't know why they're not doing it still, to be honest. I ate your face, 72. How's it going? Thank you for the follow. Good luck with the giveaway. If that is what you what brings you here, good luck. Oh my god, functional testing. Oh, I pressed X. I accidentally skipped. Whoops. There's so many people that made that game. GG, we did it. Poggers. Poggers. Discovered Nemesis. Look at us go. We did it. Congratulations on defeating the Far Zenith threat. You're now free to continue exploring and complete any unfinished quests and activities. Thank you for playing horizon team thank you horizon thank you what are, what are the name i thought i forgot what they're even called um but thank you i need to look at these trophies and see how easy it is to platinum this game i gotta see we're 74 percent of the way there which is really not that bad 
We each level 50, that's fine. What else do we need to do? I don't know what that hidden trophy could be. There's a couple. All acquisition machines killed. Uh, there's probably one to do all the cauldrons, which I'll do. All machine types scanned. Oh, wow. Really? Damn. I don't think it would be that bad, to be honest. This does not look like the most difficult game to platinum. I feel like we fully could platinum this game. I think... There's one to just complete the game on any difficulty, which is great. If there was one to be like, replay the game, like no things. Post game game, yes! So I feel like it might be a quiet goodbye for you three. I'm not sure they can bring it back now. Really, you think? Maybe. Well, I'll be... <laughs> Excuse me playing this game offline but thank you so much if you stuck with me all the way through this i hope you enjoyed our playthrough of horizon forbidden west and i look forward to seeing you in whatever game we decide to play next till then this is gold Coward signing up